Friends, fans, and fine folk, grab your drinks and snacks and come on down to Kaiju Girls with me and my friends, all these lovely people. What up, everybody? Hi. Hi. How's it going? What up? Hi. Hello. Hello. Oh, look at this. Nice. You got, it's got good volumes today. That's uh, that's good. So we quite did often it. that I have to turn you guys up. Uh, turn my guests up, anyway. Them's the, ho all, the hottest mics. We're all pretty good. We're hottest hot of mics. mics. Let's, uh, let's turn whoop, whoop. volumes of everyone. Whoop, whoop. There we go. All right. That's good levels. How's it going, everybody? How's it going? Um, sorry, we were late. Puppy was being puppy this morning, uh, as is the case these days. But hey, that's what we signed on for. Uh, who's ready to see Robert Hartley GM be a GM for the first time and earn his GM name? That's People it. have often asked me. Uh, okay, I would why, like to point why, out why that GM, you, not DM. you did GM. I you have GM'd. GM'd. I've, I've, yeah, yeah, I have GM'd, yes. I've been careful to say that this is the first time I'm running a one-page, uh, a full two-hour one-page RPG. I have <laughs> GM'd. I did I did break my uh, my GM hymen. This is getting too... <laughs> <laughs> I popped my, no, no, please, my, I popped my GM cherry uh, over on oh, Pixies biology. and Pins channel um uh do with with uh, uh what were they called S uh, savage sisters um Correct. which you can see on youtube to plug my youtube you can head over to uh, robert hartley gm and on there there's a community uh there's a pinned community post with l links to every person's other channels that i've appeared on and so you can find the link to the video on sarah's channel that uh, where you can see that video Ooh. it was a very it's a very fun game uh, with patrick and a few others um all right so we're going to be today uh, doing a one-page RPG by Grant Howitt. For anyone who's not fully into the D&D uh, &D, uh, or tw tw TTRPG role-playing space, um, you may not have heard of Grant Howitt, but if you are in the TTRPG space, you definitely have, because he's made, I think, 60% of all RPGs ever. Um, yeah. <laughs> we love you, Grant. <laughs> Thank you, Grant. Thank you, Grant, for uh, for all of the amazing work that he does. Uh, he, he's, he's put out a lot of work, and the, and I think, I don't know if all of them are, but I think a, a great deal of them are pay what you want as well, so you can just yeah. you can just pay whatever you you think the uh, the game is worth to you. So that's what we're doing today. We're playing a, uh, one called Kaiju Girls. It's a one-page RPG where, in fact, if I pull up Kaiju Girls, uh, the, the, uh, the document, um, I, I think there's actually like a little write-up. Um, that I can read about what it's about what it's about. I mean, you can probably guess. Most people, I imagine, in the <laughs> in the uh, in, in the chat, can probably guess what it's about. But <clears throat> let me set the scene anyway. You are teenage girls who have to deal with all the regular worries of people your age: getting good grades at school, expectations of the adults around you, falling in and out of love, and staying abreast of the latest news about your friends. And if that's not enough, when you get too stressed, you transform into a skyscraper-sized monster and start demolishing the city. You know, yeah. as is the norm. Uh, can you be happy, excel at your academic pursuits, and rescue citizens from the insidious attentions of giant alien robot invaders? Let's find out in Kaiju Girls, a role-playing game by Grant Howitt. So, let's crack into uh, character creation. I need each of you, please, to roll me a d6 to find out what your school drama is. Let's start with Pixies and Pins, because you're at the top. What's your number? Uh, four, please. A four. You want your first kiss to be as special as possible. Oh, my yeah. God. Accurate. Ah! That's, your, that's your school drama. All right, Dead Aussie Game Awards, your school drama. Yeah, that's a five. A five. Your new English teacher is an absolute nightmare. <laughs> oh, ugh. Such dramas. <laughs> and Dread, what'd you get? A two. Your rival is sabotaging your culture festival exhibit. Oh my gosh. Just total sabotage. All right. I need each of you to choose a favorite subject. What is your favorite subject at school? Um, we'll start with Sarah. My favorite subject at school. Is, do I have a list to choose from or is it just anything just, that could just be Just whatever about? you want. Okay. Um, I'm going to go with creative writing. Oh, nice. Okay. Creative writing. Um, Dag, what's your create create? Uh, what's your favorite subject? Uh, I was gonna go with English just to add drama and become like all Sundare like <laughs> like, like like. But I think I think I'm gonna go with um, PE. PE. Uh, all right. Yeah, so I can check out all the the hot boys. Nice. Um, 
Mm. Yeah. Co-ed PE you have mm. at your mm. at our school. Yeah. Well, Got I imagine it. so. I mean. Um. And Dred, what's your favorite subject at school? Oh gosh, I don't know. Subject. What should I go with? Um. Let's go with science. Science. Mm -hmm. All right. Science. Uh, I need each of you to choose a hobby. What does your What does your schoolgirl do uh, to pass the time when she's not at school or studying or whatever? Um, mine writes fanfic. Writes <laughs> fanfic. Yes. I am definitely um, the uh, head of the cheerleader uh, committee. Oh, cheerleading. Okay. Oh yeah. Nice. Definitely. Yes. Uh, I am dread. Like, oh my god. Uh, is it one of? Is there a list that I have to nope. choose from? Okay, uh, I'm gonna go hobby? with tabletop role playing games. <laughs> TTFGs, oh. yeah. no matter. All right, yeah. and finally, to flesh out your schoolgirl, I need you to choose a thing that you do that your parents or guardians wish that you wouldn't. It gives the example <laughs> of like uh, sneaking into <laughs> abandoned buildings. <laughs> what's, 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 so... what's what's a thing that you do that you your parents or guardians wish that you wouldn't do? Pixies. Science! <laughs> science. <laughs> your, parents, your parents are against science. Um, I think that um, she's pretty obsessed with like renaissance fairs. Oh, okay. Red first. Cool. They, they would rather I did not. It's expensive. <laughs> it's expensive. Dag? Um, I am... I'm tempted to just keep it as cheerleading. <laughs> <laughs> I wish you weren't a cheerleader. I wish you without, weren't a cheerleader. Without giving too much away, uh, I will say that you and Dredd should pick something that has not already one of your th one of the things that you do. Okay. 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 And, uh, uh, right. I'm gonna go with. Um, it expands things a little more. Spooky for you. things. So like we're gonna go like with a cult and like. Ooh, like, occult. Okay. Yeah. Occult. Stuff Dredd's like. Dredd's a witch. I'm a witch. Oh, it's another type of okay. science. I I think um, I'm addicted to milkshakes. <laughs> yeah, and are you also lactose intolerant? <laughs> That's probably why they they, why they wish me. you wouldn't. All right, cool, <laughs> Please cool, cool. stop eating so much cheese. And I'm allergic to no. strawberries, and my favorite is a strawberry milkshake. Oh, All right, no. so how this so how this how this works, and how this plays in. You have now you have now finished your character creation. Well done. Uh, how this how this works is uh, I will be presenting you challenges throughout the the game as as and when you are trying to do things that where the um uh, where the where the outcome is undetermined. Obviously, if it's something that you can just do, you just do it. And if it's something impossible, you can't do it. But if it's somewhere in between, you roll some dice, as is TTRPGs. Uh, oh. The you, all the dice we're going to be using are d6s, regular six sided monopoly dice. Um, you have a pool of them. You get to use one plus one for any of the attributes that you can uh, you can reliably explain away. So if it's something where Dread can be like, can I be using my science brain to give me some sort of insight in this? Or, oh, because I'm a creative writer, I've read I've read a story, uh, a, a young adult fiction book where this sort of thing happened and I'm getting inspiration from that, whatever. Uh, and then you, if you can justify it, you can add another pool to your, uh, another dice to your pool. Um, then you roll and any dice that are a five or a six is a success and anything less than that is a failure. If all of your dice are failures, uh, you fail that particular challenge. The story continues regardless. Um, and you add a stress dice, a new dice to your pool. Now you should all have dice that are distinct and able to be told apart from the rest of your dice. Those right. ones will be your stress dice and you add them to the pool, meaning that your, your challenges in future will be easier to succeed, but if any of those dice happen to roll a one, any of those stress dice happen to roll a one, that's when you get too stressed out and your kaiju takes over, you transform into a skyscraper sized monster and start terrorizing the city. Um, having been a teenage girl, that is just what happens yeah. to us. Like, yeah. that's... Yeah, having been at schools with teenage girls, I <laughs> set from secondhand experience. And now I have one in my house because <laughs> I am a mom. So, well. All right. Everyone. So we've got our character creation set up. You do choose your kaiju form as well, but we'll do that when, if and when uh, you turn into kaiju's. Um, if so, and when. If and okay. when. <laughs> <laughs> So uh, I need uh, a D6. Uh, I need a D6 for a known kaiju drama around the city. This is not one from each of you, so whoever's the first to roll it, roll it. 
I rolled a four. Three, a Damn four. It. And then we needed another one, so yours can be the next deck. A four and a three. So the one that is known, the kaiju drama in the city that is known, is that government agents are trying to capture kaiju. And you guys are aware of that. So when okay. you turn into kaiju, it's going to be a big deal. Um, and the unknown drama is interesting. Okay. So that will... It's interesting. We'll... Okay, um, so that will probably become uh, known relatively sh in short duration, hopefully. Goodness. Let's set the setting for us now. So what age are we in? Um, what year, what level of technological advancement? This will help me to know what uh, whether whether people are attacking you with, uh, with, with plasma weapons or bow and arrows. Um, uh, we can roll randomly or you guys can decide. What do you what do you think? I embrace the chaos. I say roll, but I'll let my, <laughs> yeah, let's my... yeah. I, roll it. I love chaos. Roll it. Let's roll it. All right. Let's dead roll it. Uh, I have I've rolled it because I've got a d one thousand. I've got a d ten thousand here that D1, I don't. Thousand. Okay. Uh, oh yeah. Good. That I don't ever get the chance to roll. So we are in the year 18, 1891. So this oh, is super steampunky. Yeah, this is this is late eighteen hundreds um, that we're going to be in. I love yeah, it. It's eighteen ninety one. So we, the the industrial revolution has begun. We can be using uh, some uh, some firearms, but not not big old things. Uh, there are, were there tanks in eighteen ninety one. Were there early tanks, or was that like first world war when they started being created? I don't know. Um, what continent are we on? Just to uh, to be clear, we're going to be set in the real world, but in a fictional country of that real world, just to give us an idea of like the culture around us and things, and what sort of things you can be destroying when you're a kaiju. Uh, just throwing could, in, takes tanks were not a thing until 1915, so no tanks. No tanks, okay, good. No tanks. So, so it means that you'll be, uh, when, when the military of the age do try and take you down as a kaiju or the government agencies, um, it's going to be, uh, they're going to be using slightly older uh, technology to do so. I think Japan, because um, Japan was going through uh, the period of westernization, so mm -hmm. it'd be kind of cool to have like... Um, like kind of the traditionalists and the uh, the the people embracing the new culture kind cool. of happening. All right, we will we will be fun. in a Japanese equivalent, but not Japan for dis reasons of not having to worry about getting things historically wrong, because <laughs> um, it's a fictional country. We can be whatever we want. Hey, so you're yeah. worried about you're worried about What's how this accurate we're going. I was, I was gonna say you're worried about how accurate we're gonna be while we're playing like with giant women turning into kaiju. Exactly. Yeah. That's why I'm okay. putting uh, in a fictional That's area. historically accurate. It that's is. real. It's true. It's true. Um, all places. All right. Let's uh, let's let's decide. What's the uh, last thing I need to decide? What is uh, the name of this city that we're in? Tokyo's Hartsvale. Tokyo. Tokyo's <laughs> What did you say, Dred? Hartsvale. Hartsvale. I like that one. Yeah. All right. Hartsvale. Um, all right, we're in Hartsville uh, in Japan, and I'm actually going to roll to see what's the population of Hartsville. Uh, 1.8 million. It's just us. Just oh. 1.8 million. <laughs> all right, so this is a large city, especially for this uh, age. So 1.8 million. This is a large city. That's all, that tells me that uh, there's going to be a lot of potential for, for for damage and collateral and things when you guys transform. All right. So we're job creators, though, really. Yeah, we're we making are. more construction. <laughs> you, you are, yeah. If it wasn't for you, there'd be the, the city wouldn't I... be eighty percent builders. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, so let's begin with uh, where you, where you guys are when the story begins. What what's the opening scene that we see of you guys? Let's start with I'll roll a dice. Uh, one. We'll start with Sarah. What's what's the opening scene of your of your little lady? And what's her name? Uh, her name is uh, Violet tendencies um <laughs> she she goes by vi um she i i think is in the library all right you're in the library and are you yeah. are you researching anything in particular yeah i mean i think i think this is like uh like I, I see us as sort of a, a camp, like a, a campusy kind of thing. Like our school is not necessarily just like one building; it's sort of a cluster of buildings. So she's in like the school school library, and I think she is. Uh, she's, she's researching. Um, yeah, you know what? Let's go for it. Uh, she is writing a fanfic. It's a, it's a romance um, where Godzilla finds love. <laughs> So she's trying to find as much information 
on uh, like reptilian biology. Gotcha. And... All right. So you've got a textbook open of, uh, of re- reptilian biology, uh, and you're yes. you're researching about uh, cloaca and, <laughs> and and the like. Um, it's important. When there is uh, when there is like a a, a noise that um, that distracts your attention from this book for a moment because it's sort of like a scut like a wet scuttling sound that comes from somewhere up in the uh, upper shelves nearby um, and you you glance that way um, mm-hmm. and uh, and then you kind of stop and listen for a second and it it happens again. I want you to roll me a challenge check to see if you can find <laughs> this thing. <laughs> All right. Find what the source of what this knowledge is. So you are going to be using uh, one one d six plus if you can justify creative writing, fa- uh, fanfic writing, or uh, renfairs. By the way, because creative writing of writing fanfic are pretty similar, you can choose to uh, expand those to, a little to more. Expand. A little bit. Um, I mean, mm. I feel like. Uh, I feel like in writing fan fiction, um, Vi has done a lot of research on uh, wet noises. <laughs> you get to, you get to add your fanfic dice to this pool, yes. I'll add my fanfic dice to that. I love it. That's all it is. Fanfic. Um, it's all so just shipping people. The way that yeah, the way that this works for the people watching is I set a challenge number from one to ten. Uh, based on how difficult this thing is. 10 is like truly epic challenge uh, and one is like simple task. So this is a one. Um, Mm -hmm. You just need one dice that has a five or a six on it. Okay. So I don't need to roll any of the the like stress dice. None of the stress dice yet because you have not yet failed any any challenges. Okay, well... (laughs) I didn't. Now you have. I got a th- I got a three and a one. <laughs> All right. So uh, you you decide to get up from your um your book and go and investigate what this sound is in a nearby shelf. Um, mm-hmm. but as you do so, there's this like <laughs> sound, and then you don't manage to find it, and it kind of freaks you out. It gets a little bit concerning. It's not a sound you've ever heard in this library before. And then one of the uh, librarians, um, Ms. Uh, Ms. Ms. Rad- Rad- Ratsmore, uh, says, um. Vi, keep it down. Sorry, I'm and she sorry. starts to shout at you, and you you get it wasn't even you that made the noise; it was this weird sucking sound, uh, and so you get stressed out from all of this uh, this, and you get a stress dice into your pool. Uh, so that means that in future you can add that stress die. Well, you have to add that stress die to any any uh, challenge rules you make, and if that stress die comes up as a one, you transform into a kaiju. Um, sorry, Miss Ratsmore, it wasn't me. There was something sucking on the book. Keep it, it down. Was me. I'm sure okay. I won't tell you again, she says. All right, uh, we will shift over to Dag. Uh, Dag, where are you this morning uh, or, or this day at school time? Um, I am running late for school. Um, right. I am running down the streets of Hartsville uh, with a school bag around my waist, uh, some books underneath my 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 arm, and a piece of bread like in my mouth. <laughs> as I'm like swinging my hips and running, uh, you know, contemplating like, oh no, I'm going to be late. Uh, my character's name is uh, Bartle Behemoth Chan. Bartle? Bartle? Bartle, Bartle, Bartle Behemoth, Chan. Behemoth Chan. Yeah. Okay. Bartle Behemoth Chan. Do you, do you have a nickname um, or do you just go by Bartle Barbie Behemoth Chan? Chan? Barbie Chan. Okay. <laughs> um, uh, as... As, uh, as 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 I come uh, running down uh, this uh, uh, the, this this kind of walkway alongside what looks to be like kind of a, a water canal um, leading to the the, the school, I, uh, I I I hear the sounds of my my mum kind of uh, yelling at me that I'll be late. Um, and as I turn around a corner, uh, I immediately crash into into someone uh, headlong. There's kind of like this explosion as like dirt and rubble just fly into the air. Um, like this, like almost mushroom cloud of. <laughs> <laughs> there's, 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 uh, you, you didn't see them. You swear you, you, you swear they must have just like appeared there. You, you rounded the corner and they weren't there for a split second, and then they were there, and suddenly you smashed into them, and this <laughs> went everywhere. And of course, uh, your books go down onto the ground. And yes, yeah, yeah, I, the... I, I immediately say itai. Who's as who's, I, who's as the uh, who's head. the person you ran into? Are they uh, an attractive boy or? Uh, it is definitely my crush. Um, and, they, and they, oh, uh, uh, yeah. sorry. And and they they reach down to your um, to your books and they start trying to lift your books up for you. 
Um, uh, my gaze meets theirs, and as it does, I, I very quickly realize uh, how I'm how I'm sitting, and I, I I I bend my knees together and I push my hands down onto my skirt, uh, and I uh, I shriek. This is this is going to be a, a chance for failure here, so it is going to be a challenge roll. I need you to roll. Uh, it's only a one. It's only a number one on the challenge rating, but uh, you need to roll me any dice that you feel is appropriate in conducting yourself appropriate. In fact, I'm going to make this a two challenge. Um, because it's your crush, uh, you're in a particularly. You, you've already started the encounter particularly awkwardly. Uh, <laughs> any dice that you think is appropriate, your milkshakes bring all the boys to the yard. Maybe I don't know. Your, your, um, well, I am a cheerleader, so I am quite. I am quite uh, quite popular. All right, so you have your uh, one base dice. You've got a cheerleader dice that you can add. Yep. Um, if you can somehow justify physical education or milkshakes, uh, I'm pretty quick. I'm pretty dice. pretty athletic, I'd say. Like you know, like with with part of my 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 me being like you know part is of your, my is your stuff. athleticism somehow uh, contributing to you like conducting yourself in a in a ladyly like manner and oh oh yeah, yeah yeah like mostly mostly about like straightening myself up like like very very swiftly okay uh, very, I'll, very I'll, 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 I'll take that so you've got your PE your cheerleading and your base dice you need two yeah. two of them to be fives or sixes okay. Dag is trying very hard to have like a main character intro. To yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, it's, she de she definitely has main main character energy. I got two fives and a two. Oh, well done! So you actually succeeded. You do not get stressed out any further. It is a pretty um, uh, pretty awkward encounter, but you manage to conduct yourself in such a way that uh, you almost see the the uh, your crush start to blush a little bit. What's his name? Um, his name is um. Uh, uh, Hobbert Rartley. <laughs> Thanks, dude. Uh, Hobbert Rartley. Uh, Hobbert um, starts to uh, starts to blush just a, a touch as <laughs> as the as the hands touch uh, one another on the books that he's picking up for you. Um, I mean, I don't know why you didn't just name him Robert Hartley, you coward. Like, <laughs> <laughs> what? Like, gone I don't know where you got this. I, I don't know where you got that idea. I oh mean, yeah, like, I guess I it is similar clearly to my an name, entirely isn't it? different and unique Coward. character. Coward. <laughs> Uh, uh, so, um, as, as this happens, um, uh, Bobby Chan, um, looks over and says, Oh, Albert Chan, uh, I'm, you're running late as well, I see. No, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, Bobby, uh, I, um, I was not, uh, I was not here, I was in, I was in school, and then I was here, I don't, where am I, 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 I don't, I don't, I don't know why I, I I must have blacked out or something. I'm so sorry. And he kind of does like a respectful bow to you. Oh, I, I I I do so as well. I kind of grab the bottom of my skirt. We and should kind of... we should um we should move quickly if we're to get to class and and uh, not not upset. What's the name of your uh, English teacher that you hate? Uh, his name is um. Uh, her name her name is uh, Dummy Chan. <laughs> Dummy. Dummy Chan. Everyone Chan. is definitely a Chan or a or a Sang <laughs> in my. She says, in... She says um, uh, uh, he uh, Hobart says uh, we better make a rush if we're not to upset uh, Dummy Chan. Um, you uh, set off. I need another challenge roll from you, Dread. Uh, dead, rather d dead. Oh. Why are you always? Why are you wow. both dead and Dread? Ugh. Dead. Dead. I need a, a challenge roll from you. This one's just a number one, um, and it's to do with uh, avoiding an obstacle. So you, your PE would definitely come in handy here. You could argue maybe your cheerleading. This, um, is, this, is, this is seeing and avoiding an obstacle that comes up as you run, which I will describe after the challenge. Yeah, I'll, I'll go with that. Um, All right. Could I can... potentially? Could I potentially say that um, that that Hobbit Chan can help me? Uh, no, Hobbit will not help you for reasons. Okay. Mm -mm. Oh, I see how it is. Because he wants you to turn into a kaiju. <laughs> uh, well, that is a it's one, a two, and a two. Well, that is a failure then. And so as you are running uh, sort of behind uh, Hobbit, and he is um, gentlemanly, uh, chivalrously uh, holding your books for you, he's running along, and then you, uh, you're kind of like a meter behind him or so, and then there's just this kaleidoscopic <laughs> glancing of, of colors in front of you between you and him and you whoom, right into it. But it doesn't feel like a wall. It feels like <laughs> like pudding, like you've just you've just jumped into jello <laughs> and then whoosh, you are in the girl's bathroom at school. 
Whoops. There's a there's a there's a um, a bell ringing and uh, and you failed the challenge. You you feel a little bit stressed out from the ordeal. You take a stress dice, and we will move on to dread. Where do we find you this morning? All right. Dark robes stand around a stone Ephesus. Uh, edifice. You hear the sound of chanting as you can see sickly green lights start to bleed into the room. These eldritch words powering some sort of ritual the cloaked figures draw their silver daggers and move towards their sacrifice you all lean forward in anticipation investigators you have been following these occult activities for some time now we're going to fly into combat uh, and that's when you find us in the science room. You can hear the sound of bubbling beakers nearby and, um, and Bonson boners uh, as several uh, investigators sit around the GM who is currently running Call of Cthulhu. Uh, <laughs> awesome. I love it. So meta. I was like, what's happening? Where am I? What? Am I is, is he just taking over the GM seat? Yep. No. Nailed <laughs> it. Um, awesome. You, uh, you, see, you see Hara Rin, Rin, uh, Rinmi. Uh, currently um, GMing, she's very happy about how the session's going. Uh, the other players are all spooked out and they're on the edge of their seats because they have been wanting to get to this point for a long time. You, um, you, uh, <gasps> you, you've, you've been running this campaign for a while. You've been getting uh, ready for this. Uh, one of them is um, uh, running late though and uh, and has uh, kind of still a little bit flustered. They've just sat down and they're, they're kind yeah. of like, did I miss much? And you can hear them kind of whispering yeah. with the other players about like catching them up. Uh, but you're staying in the moment. Haru, Haru's going to say, your character is currently being sacrificed because you were late. <laughs> <laughs> Haro, you say? Yep, Haro. Haro. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Haro is... Uh, it is a cruel GM, uh, a yeah. cruel mistress who will uh, punish the players if they're late. Um, yeah. No, no, no! Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna. Uh, can I roll to get out of the the, the bindings? Um, at this moment, there is a gloop of something falls from the ceiling of the science lab and slops down on the table in in front of who's the uh, character that was running late? Who's that? What's the um, name? Bobby's name character is running late. Oh, is Bar it one of us? Who's is, is, running is, late? is Bobby? Is is it Bobby that's uh, that's run late for the game or? Is, does Bobby play in this uh, TTRPG? Do you reckon, Doug? Will, will, will you let me? Will you let me? I yeah. will. Yeah. Uh, I, tell you, I, mean, I, tell I, you. I think Vi would also definitely. Vi be would playing. be playing as well. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. So after your after your uh, uh, your journey in, through the library and uh, getting told off, you had a um, uh, a free period and you went uh, to the science lab to continue this game. Finally, um, uh, Dag, uh, after your ordeal, finding yourself in the bathroom, you didn't have much time to dwell on it, so you uh, ran off to your English uh, lesson where. Uh, dummy Chan um, uh, scolded you, ah, shook your, shook a ruler at you. Um, not able to actually, actually, it's the eighteen nineties. They probably would have spanked you. Um, <laughs> she, Correct. She, Canes, uh, she, yeah, probably. she, she got you the got got a cane out and got you over and <laughs> gave you a, a lashing across the back of the thighs uh, and then told you to sit down, and then started writing on the chalkboard, um, uh, just like conjugating verbs. Um, and then after that, you uh, you had a free period. You, you you went to the science lab to um, to, to to meet with uh, Haro and, uh, and continue the game. But you were as, running late. As you ask for not to be uh, sacrificed, can you roll for it? The little, little like canine thing comes up as I pull that anime phone. And like I'm, the power is going to Haro's head. Uh, <laughs> and it's going to be like, nope, you've been late. This is the third time this week. Uh, you will have to see if the party, the other investiga investigators, can save you. Investigators. So, this, what would you um, like to do? this 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 goo slops fair. down from in front of you and lands lands in front of uh, in front of Barbie. Um, you uh, ah! you look up from where it came from. The rest of you, you uh, the players at the table, look like it's like this is fantastic ambience. You're not sure how Haro has done it, but you know that she's uh, very good with science and science experiments and the occult and things. So she's probably done some sort of chemical reaction to make some sort of. Uh, uh, sludge and then stuck it to the roof to, 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 to plop down just at the right moment. Uh, but you look up and you see that there is like this black pudding esque ooze uh, just like on the ceiling that is just dripping. Plop, plop. Um, Haro, you have no idea what it is, but I want you to decide. I want you to um, to to work out if you can tell me what it is. So uh, you can roll your dice. Uh, this is a challenge. Uh, this is going to be a challenge of two. And you can add your two. base dice, and definitely your science would uh, um, would work in this situation. I would argue your occult would probably also work. 
Awesome. So I've got three dice. So you've got three dice in the pool. You need two fives and sixes. Two fives and sixes. Um, I got one six, one five, and one three. Oh, there you go then. That is a success. Uh, you can tell with that success that the, this is definitely, um, definitely an inorganic material. Hmm. But you can also tell that it is not something that you have put here or any anybody in the science labs have put here. And you can also tell with that that it definitely wasn't there when you sat down to make this table. Uh, you remember because you were looking around to see what the lighting in this situation in this room was to see if you could uh, alter it to be more ambient in some way. And this thing has somehow appeared on the ceiling uh, since you sat down at the table. Uh, Vi wants to poke it. <laughs> Fine. You, you poke it. Uh, I'm going to get, let's see, is this a challenge? This is a challenge, so I'm going to need you, and it's just a challenge written of one, uh, because there is a chance of uh, ill effect happening here. Um, what, do, what are you going to add to your pool? Um, I'm going to add uh, creative writing to it, because this reminds me of, like, like an old sort of Elder Gods Cthulian uh -huh. story, um, and I, I feel like I maybe can identify what this is if i can poke sure it sure thing give it give me give me a a, a a base plus creative writing then but i am stressed <laughs> and you are stressed plus you're stressed so dice, let's see yeah. what i think i think vi has a, a baseline of like a little bit of stress all the time mm -hmm. yeah just always just a little bit <laughs> did you get a one already <laughs> did you get a one on your stress dice Okay, I need you to know, first of all, I did roll a five on my non-stress okay. dice, but I did roll a one on my stress dice. Wonderful. Dice. All right, let's see how this scene turns out then. So, um, as you uh, as you go out, you, you prod at this thing. It has the consistency of, like, a, a melting jelly. Um, it wobbles and shakes, but it's also, like, gelatinous and a, a kind of, like, droopy. Um, it's this black uh, uh, color for the most part, but it has this oily, like... Um, uh, iridescence, to, uh, iridescence, is that the right word? Uh, oily, like kaleidoscopic um, nature like, to like it. Like an oil slick when the sun Like an oil slick, kind of but it's like if cool. somebody took oil and put that into uh, clear jelly. Um, mm. and, and so it's a weird, it's kind of a, it definitely it doesn't seem pretty. like anything you've, yeah, it's very pretty, but it doesn't seem like anything you've touched. It instantly burns the tip of your finger like you've just touched acid. Um, and, uh, and that stresses you out some more. Um, it sure does. Dag, uh, you as as she pokes it in this, and it kind of wiggles. the The way that the iridescence seems to move seems very reminiscent of the uh, the, the colourful wall that you ran into before that ended ended you up in the bathroom. The uh, um... I'll, I'll I'll say that immediately as uh, I'll, I'll say, uh, 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 Harajan, this is why I was late. And as you're saying this, you're out, you're shaking your, your burnt finger, and then you can feel bubbling up your hand from your finger this this uh, almost domino effect quality of something about to change within yourself. You can't change you can't change it, you can't stop it, but you can definitely get outside if um, you want to. Hara's gonna say, um uh, did did like did like him uh, Nazavak put you up to this? Um, I don't think Vi leaves because Vi um, takes her strength from Barbie and Hara, so I think <laughs> she stays. <laughs> okay, so you stay as your transformation becomes. Um, you guys, you guys can see this. I, I imagine that being friends, you guys have seen each other transform before. You know of each other's uh, kaiju forms. Now that we have somebody going kaiju, we need to roll kaiju character creation. Ooh, Pixies woo! and pins. This means you will either roll me 3d20 and we'll choose three effects for you randomly, or you can roll mm -hmm. two randomly and then choose something else that your kaiju has if you want a little I'm gonna, bit more control I'm gonna, over it. I'm going to roll all three. All three. All right. Roll 3d20. Okay. I will tell you three of the, uh, the things that you okay. have as a kaiju. Here we go. Uh, 15. 15. You have rows upon rows of teeth. <laughs> you have shark-like mouth, just, or a sarlacc-like mouth. Just teeth, of, teeth after teeth after teeth after teeth. All right. That feels correct. <laughs> um, nine. A nine. You have great and terrible wings. Not just large wings. Great and terrible wings. Like Oz. Great and terrible. <laughs> yeah, great and terrible. Terrible. Wings. Okay, and then um, let's see what happens next. Two. A two. You also have a bone sword. 
So, yeah. So you can choose. You can choose how this looks. Maybe your forearm turns into a sharpened blade of, of bone, or maybe it's like out of your back, or whatever you want. Maybe it's like a big bone tail. So, uh, so I'm, with that in knowledge, tell me what unicorn. you look like. You look like you've got a unicorn esque appearance with the bone sword yeah. out the front. Yeah. Um. So I guess she's more of a alicorn, right? Because she's yeah. got wings. Yeah. Yeah. Um. And just like the scariest amount of teeth, like. So, so do you? Does your kaiju form look essentially just like a unicorn, but with wings and massive mouth? Like, have you? Do you, have you still have that equine appearance? Yeah, <laughs> awesome. but just like enormous. <laughs> <laughs> just an enormous, just an enormous. Uh, so I, I'm gonna say you're like uh, because one of the things you can be is is dizzyingly tall. It means that not all kaiju's must be dizzy- dizzyingly tall then. So this one, I, I'm going to say is... Uh, actually, roll me a d6 and we'll see how many stories tall you are. Six. So you are six stories tall. All right. You're a six okay. stories tall unicorn looking thing with giant, yeah. uh, great and terrible wings. So what do your wings look like? Um, I think that they look like dragonfly wings. Okay, big, big like, dragonfly wings. Yeah, just like giant <laughs> dragonfly. Yeah. <laughs> To our both move, sides. They move very quickly. I bet it's creating a, a lot of draft inside this room right now because they just like <laughs> immediately start going, and so it's sort of awesome all right so you guys see this transformation happening the the bone sword starting to push like a bulbous yep. uh, pustule from the head, and then breaks the skin. Um, <laughs> you guys know what's going on. You've got like a reaction if either of you want to do something. So we we've seen the transformations happen for our characters before. I would imagine so, yeah. Uh, okay, cool. Uh, um, what are I... the what are the other D and D players, uh, the Call of Cthulhu players do? Oh yeah, how many? How many? Oh, also, I don't think her voice changes at all. There's no <laughs> voice change. So I think she just like becomes this big thing, and then I think out of this terrible row, all of the teeth, you just hear Vi's little voice, and she goes, "Oh no, you guys, I did it again." <laughs> <laughs> It's okay, Peter. She it's starts okay. like stumbling around in the room, trying to like not. <laughs> <laughs> just, like, you've it's definitely okay. smashed, you've definitely you smashed through the the ceiling of this thing, being that you're six stories yeah. tall. You've smashed through the ceiling, and you're, but you're like cur- curled up. You you're curled into three stories space. Uh, so you've smashed through the science lab. What was the what was the room above? Was it like was it a, uh, was it a library? Was it a was it? I think the it gym? was the was music it? room. It's so the music room. Probably, you... Maybe like a tuba. <laughs> Like threaded on my, on my thing. Yeah, there's a couple of uh, couple of there's there's definitely screaming happening around as well. Uh, Dread, how many people were in your um in um Uh, Haru's? uh, Haru has has about four. Four is the four four players. So there's two other players, NPCs that are that that are there as well. Are they are they are they familiar with you guys transforming? Um. I'm gonna say I'm gonna. Say, I'll let. Quite, I'll leave there is quite a bit of there is quite a bit of stress uh, happening yeah, in the uh, in, in, in TTRPGs, Cthulhu games. especially yeah, exactly. Call of Cthulhu. So, so I imagine I'll that you that have transformed to... before. Um, they're you, not. You, I wouldn't say they're used to it, but they yeah. they they've definitely seen it. Uh, <laughs> yeah. They see the the thing happening and they just grab their books that and, and dice and just <laughs> <laughs> they they bolt for the door of this science lab and they just about get there as you've fully transformed. Vi's <laughs> trying to apologize to them. <laughs> like moving. I'm sorry, guys. Wait. I'm so sorry. Wait. I will have. Uh, I will. Uh, so um, when you transform, uh, all of your stress dice that you had before disappear. You start a Great. new new stress pool, um, and uh, and if you ever, uh, it, game continues as usual. But if you ever transform again from uh, from Taiju back to schoolgirl as a product of rolling a one on your stress dice, uh, you are out for the rest of that scene. You're like too exhausted. The transformation has taken too much out of you. Then it's nap time. I get it. It's nap time after that. Yes. You have to be careful. They're hunting us. And as you shout this, as you shout this, as you have burst through the, uh, the lab, through the music room, and through out into the open space on top of the uh, the 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 uh, roof where they was um, uh, they they were starting a veggie garden up here. They were trying to teach about uh, agriculture and and the importance yeah, of it. this. Um, Not the first time I've destroyed this veggie they, garden. Sorry. They've, they've, been, they've been growing pumpkins. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they're, they're, try, they're trying to teach about the uh, the importance of self sustain sustainability. Um, and as they burst through, you hear what's what sort of uh, what sort of aircraft were around in 1891? Uh, I was going to say mm. I was going to say a a, a, a helicopter. Biplane. You hear a bi- a biplane bi- starting to come closer, um, and and uh, and an 1891 uh, appropriate bullhorn 
Um, sh- 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 there's, I, I oh. see one to the west. There's one to the west in the. Uh, we should name the school, shouldn't we? What's what's yep. the name of this? School? Kaiju High. Kaiju, Kaiju, Kaiju High. I think Easy. it's little on the Kaiju nose. Prep. Kaiju, Kaiju Prep. Prep. I love Prep. it. I love there's, it. I see one to the west in Kaiju Prep. <laughs> We're circling <laughs> round now. And you see it starting to bank your way. Uh, it's Look, coming your direction. Thing. You know it no, no, won't no, no, be good no, if they see you. It's kind of like that's a school of monster hunters. So like kaiju <laughs> hunters. So they're actually yes. Yeah, so it's kaiju prep is getting ready for the kaiju. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So uh, the biplane is coming your way. You know it's not going to be a good thing if they come and uh, and, and grab you because the uh, the agents are trying for you. What are you going to do? I will uh, try and bite them. <laughs> you're gonna try. You're gonna go towards them. Try and bite them I'm out of the sky. <laughs> All right. So the rest of you see these large equine hooves coming out of the uh, out of the school, lifting up and over the ledge. <laughs> you rush towards the bi- biplane. The biplane's gonna take evasive oh, yeah. action, so it's gonna be a challenge roll for you. I- uh, uh, it's it's going to be... I'd like to take out my actual tome of uh, arcane secrets. Like the real one. <laughs> the real <laughs> occult. Yeah. 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 yeah, I'm going to try and flip to an arcane, like an eldritch spell to try and help. Awesome. So this is one of the products of this game. You can combine your efforts to uh, to succeed on challenge rolls. Hell yeah. So this is going to be... Let me set the challenge. Uh, you are... Um, you're trying to bite something out of the sky. I'm going to say this yeah. is a challenge written three thing. Uh, you're going to need three <laughs> successes of fives and sixes. You can add any of your... You can no longer use your um, your uh, uh, schoolgirl tags, your creative yep. writing and things, but you can use your new monster tags. You're using your teeth, and, uh, of course. Yeah. So you've got your base, okay, you've got well, your teeth. I feel like I can use my rows upon rows of teeth for biting. Definitely for sure. using rows upon rows of teeth. Uh, and dread... I feel like I can use my great and terrible wings because they will help me <laughs> Because they're flying and you're flying to me. Yeah, nice. Awesome, I love that. So yeah. you're adding those. Dread, you are adding your occult dice to the my pool. Occult, yeah, I'm going to try um, to cast like and, an, an occult spell. And I believe because you're helping, you also get your base dice, I'm going to say. My base dice? Um, yeah. yeah, so your base dice plus your occult. So there's five dice okay, in the pool. Cool. Uh, yep. Is Barbie okay. able to uh, offer anything to try and help? Um, how how would it go? Again? You're a cheerleader. Cheer. I can cheer. I can cheer. Uh, how how would it how would it go if I were to I don't know maybe also try to turn into a kaiju? Can you force kaiju grow? You can't force it unless can't you want to try and do things that are particularly difficult, Festival. so that you can fail, so that you can get stressed, so that you can turn yeah. into a kaiju. That is so, the only way. I okay. to a page uh, with my Eldritch page if it to help. I'm gonna try and give you a black hole mouth, so you like you have like. <laughs> You just like, <laughs> yeah. behind right. the teeth is just this black yeah. hole as well. Yeah. All right, all right. I'm I'm going to I'm going to instigate um a a cheer. Um, bye bye. She's our kaiju. If she can't do it, then she'll probably get kidnapped by the secret government. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Oh uh, bye. This, this is a challenge in three. You have his chili to dice to the roll now as well. Okay. So wait. So I'm adding. <laughs> so it's six or seven die. Uh, I think it would be seven, wouldn't it? Because it'd be D- Dag's, uh, Dag's base dice plus his cheerleader dice, I'm going to say. Okay. Seven, seven dice, eight. you need three of them to be fives and sixes. <laughs> now, do, we, do we have a risk of taking stress if we help? Um. Uh, yes, I'm going to say that if it fails, well, no, everybody it's okay. who got involved... I have two sixes and two fives. There you go. That is one. Yeah. Su- that is a, a successful challenge. Nobody gets stress. Uh, yeah, I'm going to say that's the payoff. So if you can... if you get involved Help. you can add dice to their pool to Hell make yeah. a challenge but if you fail you all take a stress all right um so but you succeed as you fly up to meet them the biplane face of action move 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 it slams into uh, right into the mouth you weren't it wasn't able to uh, to 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 get out of the way you crush through the um the biplane and just almost devour the entire thing uh, a couple like- of couple of pieces go and then you see like uh, you see a guy just yeah. eject from both sides of the thing and as as he's as they're ejecting i i just say like i clear my mouth and then i just go so i'm so sorry because <laughs> well, i didn't know what else we'll to do. get you, you really? next time okay well thanks for coming by you did so good vi thank you we love you vi um you hear the bell ringing and it's time for your next class everybody Oh no! If you can, if you can't get to this class, uh, you're all going to be pretty stressed about that situation. Uh, uh, this is, there, is this what, is what, maths. What? This is maths class. Oh wait, okay. Oh uh, no! Any way I, I can help uh, we, by I, chance shrink down with my science or Eldritch knowledge, <laughs> occult knowledge. No, um, I have a plan. Don't worry, guys. Plan? I have a plan. Okay. I'm just I just fly to the side of the building and then I just, <laughs> just put listen. My head in. Take notes. <laughs> listen to the side of the building and take notes. <laughs> all right. There's a there's a window. I just. 
stick my head in. I, I'm, I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna check my phone and seeing the time, I'm gonna be like, I'm sorry, by John, I can't stay. Uh, Matt is the only class that I'm sharing with Hobart. <laughs> <laughs> You definitely yes, don't check your some, phone for that. It's 1891. For some, um, for some, <laughs> for some weird reason, oh, I check my abacus. Um, <laughs> check abacus for the time. <laughs> Do a click, some, click, clack. Yeah, Take your sundial. And, 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 for, for some reason, it's it's Hobart Chan's favorite uh, class. He's a he's a super nerd in that way. He's um, so weird. You, you get it. You get the, the door of the science lab opens, uh, and the science teacher, um, uh, a, a tiny fella called. Um, uh, ben Chan. Uh, ben Chan uh, enters uh, and, and, and looks around and says, Ah, oh, not again. Sorry, Ben Chan. I'm sorry. I... I'll clean it up later and I'll write a story. I should give you. I, I should. When you, when you do change back, he shouts up to you, you will be getting detention. Um, I don't want that. And that's uh, that will give you a stress. I'm going to add a stress dice to your pool because uh, because you've been given detention for for smashing up the the, the school again. Um, again. Can I can I, yeah. can I use can I use cheerleading oh, to try and uh, convince Ben Chan that uh, that you know <laughs> she, she didn't do it? Uh, can I? <laughs> oh. I would like to try and see if I can I you can hit it on um, like him. Uh, like <laughs> I'm gonna be like, did, uh, are you just assuming that the giant rage rageaholic um, kaiju okay, you is can, what destroyed the building? You can <laughs> like, use you very... can use cheerleading for this. Um, it is going to be a very difficult challenge. Uh, I'm going to set this at a challenge of six um, <laughs> out of ten. Uh, so you've got your base dice, you have got your cheerleading. Yep. You're adding your uh, your your base dice and, and science. Is it dread? Yeah, because you're getting involved I... to try and. Yeah, I'm gonna try and say it's Lackham's fault. All right, you're getting involved with that. Um, yeah. we, you're still at four. You can't possibly w succeed on this challenge unless you add more dice somehow. Uh, okay. All right. Is hold on. Is there up. a way I can assist? Somehow? If you, if you, if you want to, if you can try and find a way to pretend like you didn't smash up the school. All right. Uh, I frequent rent fairs, and that involves a lot of acting. Um, okay, uh, <laughs> I will. I will bend the rules and allow you to use your Renfer uh, check here plus your base dice. Takes you to six. Okay. It is possible for you to succeed now, but uh, okay, okay. highly hold unlikely. On. So hold on, hold on, hold on. Then I'm also going to uh, throw in um, that Dummy Chan um, says that your class is stupid and that. <laughs> And that English and that uh, that that in English is um, Eng English is is like a, a peasant. Uh, sorry, you know English uh, math is a peasant class, and that's why I think Dummy Chan was the one who actually destroyed your classroom and used my <laughs> hatred of my English teacher to to give me another one. Okay, I'll yeah. allow it. I'll allow it. You've got seven. You 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 still uh, have to get six of those seven to be fives and sixes. <laughs> Otherwise, you all get a point of stress. Anything else, guys? Do you want to try? You, you, you have make, your stress dice as well, Brian? From I'm before? I've got one stress. Yep, so you've got your stress dice, so you're rolling can eight I, dice. Can I flash my, my, my uh, secret you're, you're get, Yeah, you'll you're get involved, uh, Pixies, so you've also got your stress dice. Am I allowed to add anything else? Uh, Sure, if you've got I'm gonna some. I'm going to show my, my, my secret occult ring towards the, <laughs> towards the science teacher and just wink. <laughs> It's, it's hopefully they're, in, hopefully they're part, uh, of the part of the secret society. Secret You're just hoping society. that they're part yeah. of it. All right, I'm gonna roll. I'm gonna roll one dice, and if it's five or six, they're a part of the secret society. Right, let's go. They 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 look Damn. at you with a cocked sort of confused expression, and that does not add your dice to the pool. <laughs> All right. So what am, what am I at at the moment? I think you're at nine dice, one, two of two, which are stress eight, dice. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, cool. Yep. Yeah. All right. You've got two stress dice in there, yeah. I do have two stress dice cool. in here. Yeah. All right, okay. roll it. All right. It's okay because I didn't roll them. I'm trying to pick them up. All right. Roll the dice. Okay, here we go. Okay, it's not too bad. One, two, three, four, five, six. You get six. I got six. I got six, wow. six, six, five, six, six, one, three, three. Was the one on a stress dice? 
No, fuck, thank God. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you oh, succeed even somehow, look. against all odds, you somehow <laughs> succeed on convincing this science teacher that the, the roof the roof was not destroyed by by the kaiju that is outside just outside the in the gardens of the, the building now, looking in with the just massive looking unicorn in head. And I went, I saved you. <laughs> and and uh, he says Oh, I'm I'm so sorry. Uh, I'm so sorry, Vi. I I I jumped to assumptions. That's uh, that's wrong of me. Yeah, you um, should be. I will. Uh, you you won't get detention after all. You can remove that stress dice that you got for having detention. Yeah, <laughs> your pool now. To really I, sell I, it, Vi's gonna cry, and they're like little <laughs> they're little like rainbow oh, tears. Oh. <laughs> each one each one drops. It's about it's about the size of a water bomb. Absolutely. <laughs> And it just it leaves this like a oil slick uh, sort of quality around the, the oh, science lab. Cry, oh, that's God. that's uh, that's okay. I do actually have a unicorn, a sad unicorn emote right there. Thank you, Cat Foxy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sad, sad unicorn. Uh, you then make you then uh, the two of you rush to maths, maths class and and pixies. You fly around the the building to the maths building and and clamp yourself up and onto this well you don't even need to clamp it's in like the fifth story so you can just lean down your head just to the window to stoop um it's it just is like just my snout is in as you as you push your snout through into the building and push a bunch of the tables aside and the other the other students there are like aren't we kaiju prep shouldn't we be dealing with the, the maths <laughs> teachers like i i would normally be dealing with this but uh, it's a little. T- it's. Uh, I've got too much on my plate. You see, today is about pop quiz, and she uh, oh. reveals. Whoosh, uh, takes a sheet off of the as, the. Um, the as the she turns board. around, I punched the kid that pointed that out. <laughs> <laughs> Can you roll me a challenge check? It's a, pretty easy. It's a, only a challenge of one. What's what are you adding to it? You got I'm your base and my, your. I'm definitely gonna add PE. <laughs> base and PE. All right. <laughs> yeah. You've got your two dice uh, plus any stress dice that you have. Uh, I've currently got one stress dice. You need one of them to be a five or a six. Okay. This is about getting away with it. Oh no! Is that a failure? No, it wasn't it's... a failure. Um, but you're trying. But you're also a kid 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 definitely dead. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I transform so... into a kaiju as I punch him. So was it a successful punch? You did get a five it or a six. It was a successful punch. Yeah. So you you managed to punch him and get away with it, and he goes, "Ow! What are you punching me for?" And then as you've punched him, you you feel the uh, the burning in your knuckles start to radiate up your arm, and you realize what's about to happen as you've uh, you've become no. a little bit you've you've allowed your emotions to get the better of you. I need <laughs> I need Riz to determine what your kaiju looks like. Uh, this is going to be three d twenty, or if you want a little bit more um uh, a little bit more of a, a narrative say over it, you can roll two d twenty randomly and then choose one thing. Uh, no, let's go three d twenty. Let's do it. All right, let's I'm do not, it. I'm not, do I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm, I'm no coward. It. Uh, all right, here we go. All right, what do you want first? Uh, the, any of one, the numbers. One of the D20s. <laughs> oh, any of the numbers. <laughs> Just give me one of the D20 numbers. <laughs> all right, uh, that is a 19. A 19. You have a venomous sting. Ooh, okay. Uh, I then have a 9. A 9. You also have great and terrible wings. Yeah, we're flying friends. <laughs> Uh, and the last one... I hope one... Hera also has Yeah, that would be pretty dope. And the last one is a natural one. A natural one. You have a bioplasma projectile. Oh! I have a beam! <laughs> bioplasma projectile. All right, so, um, uh, tell me what can you Can I say I'm like. a manticore? Like a giant manticore? Yeah, absolutely, you can. Nice. Uh, oh, roll me a d6 to see how many stories tall you are. Six. You're also yeah. six stories tall. The two of you are six story tall kaijus with with uh, with dr- great and terrible wings. Um, so what is it? What do you look like? A manticore? Like so human? Uh, yeah. Face? So does it so still have your look, face? Uh, yeah, it's it's it's, 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 it's literally got my face. But, it's, but oddly enough, like my human form now, the voice actually sounds like it suits my body. Oh. Like he's always, like <laughs> he's has, your, yeah, your yeah. voice doesn't change either. But yeah. it's it's the other way around. Like yours is yeah, suitable exactly. to your kaiju and not right. yeah. No, um, as I as he as as it expands, he watches like the hair, like this, be- this beautiful blonde hair, um, suddenly sharpens to like these deadly quills, um, <laughs> that are just filled with poison. 
Uh, and you watch as like her, she sort of lumbers forward, and her shoulders sort of haunch, and she sort of takes there's, on a more there's, lionish. There's screaming, and the math teacher turns around, seeing this, and goes, "No, no, outside, Bobby! Outside, outside, Bobby! Outside! No, no, no! Come on, outside!" Uh, she, she she sort of puts her puts her feet together and arches her back and goes. <laughs> <laughs> as you, as, do you, do you, do you refuse? You refuse to get I, outside? No, 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 I will go outside. But I'll kiss it anyway. <laughs> you uh, managed to break your way. Actually, the window is currently occupied by a, a uh, unicorn snout. I'll, I'll, um, I'll, I'll fire. Straight also, up that means I can't and... see, so I didn't see it happening. <laughs> you didn't and I'm see just going, what's, go what's going on? What is? <laughs> yeah, these, I'll, I'll... Just these horrific rows of teeth that just <laughs> in the <laughs> maths room. <laughs> so you're just like, what's going on? <laughs> uh, I'll I'll aim I'll aim the my plasma beam directly into the ceiling <laughs> as you're growing, and then I'll 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 fly out the I'll fly out the 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 top there as uh, I take on this this giant spiked lion with a huge with Barbie with basically just Barbie's face Barbie's right? face with but with like it, just a cat face... nose human size so it's like little, <laughs> like, little like itty bitty oh that's so to... horrific that, that, that's terrifying and it's got yeah, it's just terrifying. got cat ears like yeah. the, 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 right. mimi, the tiny neko mimi cat ears i'm thinking yeah, yeah i'm thinking like joe cat yes um yes. <laughs> awesome. the exclamation button uh, bubble which is this come on ladies and what do your um uh, what do your wings look like like leathery mantico wings or uh yes but made of like, I don't know, like made of smaller manticores. I don't know. Terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> <Okay. laughs> just, uh, just a bunch of manticores, like like uh, conjoined twins, almost yeah, like sides, but, but all of their wings are flapping. Yeah, flapping. exactly. <laughs> yes. Yes. Oh my god, that's horrific. I hate it. <laughs> just, yeah. um, Honestly, I just couldn't think of cat, like how do I make Foxy this super says, weird uh, premature laser e ejection. <laughs> <laughs> Um, amazing. Okay, times. wham. Uh, then, the, then you destroy the building, um, and <laughs> again, again, uh, another part of the building. Uh, the math the math teacher says, "Well, well, I suppose he's outside. I should have specified." <sighs> well, uh, pop quiz <laughs> just continues <laughs> with the lesson anyway. <laughs> uh, I hope you can. I hope you don't think this is going to get you out of this, Barbie. Pop quiz. <laughs> Um, and starts a pop quiz for each of you. Um, th have you been studying? No. No? No? Um, okay. Haro would have been. Haro would have been. All right. Yeah. So uh, so you are going to make individual checks here. This is a challenge for each of you. You can't help each other out on this. Oh, oh you might be able to, actually. Maybe you can Maybe you can cheat and help Cheery. each other if you want. A cheaty. Um, uh, but if you don't cheat, it's going to be an individual Bobby challenge. Via just like looking over my shoulder from the windows. It is a yeah. challenge rating. It's a challenge rating two. It's a relatively difficult t uh, maths test. Yep. Um, and and if you fail, obviously you're going to get pretty stressed out. So you can add anything you think is appropriate. Combine your pool. Get your dice together. Uh, You've got your stress go dice added to science. it. Science. Uh, we have a base dice, don't we? You have your base uh, dice always, and then uh, any yeah. any of your tags that you mm -hmm. want to add. So the tags I have is like the 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 subjects, like oh, so the the hobby, the subject, and then there's the the drama. Do you add the drama at uh, all, or is that? You, uh, I'll allow you to add a drama for oh, for cool. a dice as well. Sure. I look over it, uh, like him, and I like I've just got this glare. Like I'm gonna beat you with this pop quiz. <laughs> I'm just like 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 him who's seen all of this happen and is yeah. like, hmm. Um, I would like to add my rose upon rose of. Of teeth because I can count on them. <laughs> uh, okay. on the teeth. Yeah. I love it. Yeah, <laughs> just this huge, huge equine hoof huh? comes up and starts. Yeah. And horses like do that counting, don't they? You're yeah, doing your yeah. counting across your teeth. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I'll allow you to add a rose and rose of teeth to this uh, pool. Uh, and I also made a sacrifice to the eldritch horror of math. <laughs> <laughs> Just this morning. <laughs> Just this morning, even. Yep. Because you needed to be good with your maths for your role playing games, so yep. you can quickly yep. add your numbers exactly. together. Exactly right. All yep. right. Uh, yep. I'll allow that. Uh, um, I'm. I, I would like to lean on my relationship with Hobart Chan and um, <laughs> and try to convince him to like allow me to cheat off him. Ho um, Hobart's uh, looking up and he's he's, he's concerned uh, a little bit. Worried. I can look, it I seems can like he's concerned for your for your safety. Yeah, well, because because I burned a hole in the, in the roof, right? <laughs> You've so... landed boom, poof, on top of the mats building, looking through the uh, what's the what's the room <laughs> above the mats building? 
because I said it was the fifth story of six. So um, I, okay, <laughs> there I'd was say... a building above, a, a floor above. What's the, what's the, the, was it a bathroom? What, what have you smashed through above? Um, you? yes, let's go to the bathroom. It the, is the, the girl's so bathroom. you've smashed through the, uh, the the math ceiling and the girls' bathroom, and uh, and and now you've slammed back down on top of the roof, and you're looking like down through that. There's just water yeah. falling <laughs> into. <laughs> There's water falling into the math room and everybody's kind of like shifting their chairs even further. Everybody's like climbed up onto their chairs now and they've just got their, their paper in Do hand. Do we have a stress? Uh, if, you've tra- if you've got a stress since transforming, you do. If you've transformed uh, recently, no stress. Uh, your your okay. stress pool is gone. Um, so, you, uh, so you're cheating off Hobart. I will, I will allow it because you've, it makes sense. So you've got your base and your cheating dice. Um, uh, the rest of you, if you're done with collecting your dice... Yep. Yep. Mm-hmm. All right. Give me, give me, give me the, give me the numbers. You need, uh, you need two successes. Uh, I've only got yep. one success. Uh, I went ahead and crushed this roll with zero successes. <laughs> zero successes. <laughs> the people who fail, you get one su- uh, one stress dice into your pool. What was From the, uh... the window, the giant mouth of all the teeth says, "Is it seven? <laughs> is it the, the answer? Is it seven? No." No, we're doing that's, calculus. That's an- we're that's doing calculus. I, have, I asked you to integrate. What I got <laughs> no, I'm cheat. not even asking. No, it's not a number. The, the answer isn't even a number. We're asking about. I w- the the question it, was. Is it A? No, we're not going through the alphabet again. We're not. We're not doing this. <laughs> if you'd spent uh, more time practicing uh, your mathematics and and she's yelling at you and uh, and making it very very uh, stressful situation for you. Uh, I'm imagining as uh, as I'm I've been cheating, um, uh, I I've been kind of like caught while cheating, uh, <laughs> because because as I'm uh, looking over at uh, Hobart Chan's um, uh, work, suddenly someone comes in to use the bathroom, and, um, <laughs> and as the, as this happens, you just you just watch the medical looks to the side and goes occupied. <laughs> <laughs> There's screaming and running, just, and, you, and you hear her shouting. Um, there's one over here. There's one over here. As she's running down the corridor. Um, <laughs> Dread would you get? Look science down. lab where there was yeah. a helium leak. <laughs> Dread. What is this? What was the six six number? Uh, success is five or sixes. Five or sixes. Uh, five or sixes. Oh boy. Uh, I only got one six. So the rest of it was like two, three, three. And uh, well, then you no. did not succeed. You uh, you also take one more stress into your stress die pool ah! um, as you as you f- fail this yeah. thing. If yeah, uh, you got one six though, so you you, you like halfway through the thing. Uh, Vi, not a single thing right on this pop quiz. Uh, but the, the other two us. of you, it feels right. <laughs> um, you're you're somewhat really distracted talking. by the sound of <laughs> three more biplanes coming off to towards you in the distance. Mm, it seems like they've been. Uh, approaching for a while now that they've they've been kind of f- uh, flying around the area trying to look for um, more evidence of kaijus and then as the first one the scout plane uh, attacked the the two that escaped in on their um uh, their their parachutes have managed to get word on the on the old radios um to the the rest of the 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 proto biplanes uh, and they're on their way it, they're, they're not immediately here but they're going to be here soon just as the Ding, 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 ding. The bell rings for for uh, for lunch period now. Um, what are the, what are you guys doing as you uh, as you are scolded and and stressed by your maths teacher and you're finishing your 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 maths lesson? You have um you have a, a dinner dinner period now. Um, before we leave, I'd like to try and swap out my my pop quiz for Lackham's pop quiz by using my <laughs> oh. Eldritch Arts to uh, switch that to Lackham. All right, you can you can attempt wrong. this. Uh, Lackham is mm, I think this is just a challenge written one. Uh, Lackham yep. is is um, uh, aware that uh, that that you uh, have a rivalry, and so they're they're, yeah. they're not going to be too uh, clear with. I'm it. A- I'm gonna point over to Lackham. I'm on to you, Lackham. I know you're trying to ruin my 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 thing at the. What the is what is your culture? That, what is what is the culture that you've chosen to do your um your your uh what is it called oh, the boy. festival thing on? Um uh cultural uh, cultural culture festival exhibit. What's your what's your exhibit on? New Dread City. New New Dread City. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is. Um, I don't. I don't need to sabotage your work. You're sabotaging it yourself with your own uh, devotion to those silly t- tabletop games, rather than 
uh, rather than I'm just trying to get the audience to hate uh, like them as much as possible by insulting tabletop games. <laughs> um, I, I know that you're. I know that you made that black ooze thing. I'm on to you, like them. Make your make, make make your roll to see if you can distract and uh, and, and, and swap you know, out the what, test. Like them, gaming and playing is one one of the most awesome things that you can do. It's lame. You're a nerd. No, it's not lame. No, you need imagination to be, to be great in science. Nerd. Yeah, no, ah. What a loser. Um, I got... Boy. Uh, two sixes. Two sixes. That is a success. Yeah. Okay, I prick my finger. A little bit of blood comes out. It crackles with black energy. And I was like, oh. all my paper. Uh, you see it web up the page. It te- leech away the ink that was on there. And then... Uh, switch it with his as the papers go up I guess. the, the, the um, switch they, well. they switch around and as you've sort of created this um occult uh portals to, to switch um uh the papers you've succeeded but the portal continues to grow over on his side uh not on yours it seems to have closed up but on his side right behind him as he's calling you a nerd <laughs> you see his table his maths table f- fall into this portal behind him with a shimmering sort of iridescent <laughs> quality same as the ones before uh, and it continues to grow towards his feet he hasn't seemingly noticed uh, and he's <laughs> and he's, yeah, he's he's yelling insults at you uh the two people who are flying outside of the maths room uh you yeah. guys can see this uh, as well um as you are uh, outside and looking in is anybody going to say anything, or are you letting him fall into a puddle? No, he's to, a, he's not nice. He's not nice. Let him go into a puddle. Yeah. Um, I'm, I, I'm also, kind of. Like, I'm... It's, I have low blood sugar, and it's lunchtime, so I'm going to go to the cafeteria. <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of. I'm kind of looking at the biplanes. <laughs> You're looking at the biplanes, which are now uh, significantly closer. I get, I get my uh, my evil anime face on, just like I am. Um, evil I, anime I, I... face comes on. <laughs> I say, um, I say to, um, I say, I, I say, uh, bye, bye, John. All right, John. There are more planes coming. We should hide somewhere, you know, somewhere safe, like I, the milk shop. I, I, shop. It's lasagna day, and I wanted. Like him, watch out! And, what? What? <laughs> you see him fall into this portal, and then the portal crackles with a more red sort of iridescent quality, and then it disappears. Oh, no! We we, oh, we, we, we oh, take no. a moment. We, ta- we all take a moment, just kind of look at it, and then just carry on the conversation. <laughs> just carry on the <laughs> I think we should go to a milkshake shop. But they're, they're supposed to have pudding today, too, and I, I just really want to go have lunch. Do we eat together? Yeah. Do you want to ride? Yeah. My school has now started like a siren. Coming. There is a there is essentially like an air raid siren happening at the school, and everybody at the school at uh, this school knows that there's that means kaiju attack, and uh, and and people start to prepare. It usually means that government agents will be arriving at the school to swarm soon, um, and and look look out for specifically you guys. Um, okay, so Vi is very sweet, and because she hears the air raid sirens, she's going to say to Hera, "Hey, take." Take cover. Um, there's gonna be kaiju attacking the building, and so I don't want you to get hurt. I'll um, I'll keep an eye out for them. <laughs> the the biplanes at this point we, have started we, to uh, just, circle just, just around. To are, are we in some way, shape, or form unaware that we're kaiju? Oh, no, I I know. I just like <laughs> don't see myself as a threat, so clearly it must be. <laughs> yeah, there must be more threat. Must be me then. There must oh, be a I more see how it is. Kaiju. No, somebody is coming from the outside. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, that um, checks out. <clears throat> you, uh, you, you uh, hear these biplanes that are now pretty much on you. Uh, if you are going to try and evade them in some way, it is going to be a challenge roll of some sort. Uh, what are you? What are you guys planning to do? Are you still have heading? You, you're still heading to the cafeteria, up, Sarah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> um. Bye. We got incoming. But I, I will. I'll be better if I could at least have like a tiny. St- <sighs> I, I open my bag and I take out my 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 lunchbox that I've made. It's got a few. <laughs> it's got a few rice balls in there. It's not much, but here you go. Open up. And I throw one of my <laughs> one of my just rice balls into the black hole, one. which is still into in the, the yeah yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Just hits one of the teeth. That was nice. Hole. That was good. Go. I um I I'll 
get one of these planes. I'm gonna go try to stab one of the planes. <laughs> they're gonna start. Yeah, they're gonna start uh, firing back at you now. So this is going to be a fight check, which is gonna be challenge rating because there's three of them. Uh, there's two of you though. Uh, I'm gonna say this is a challenge of four um, uh, to take out one so of the planes, base, the first of the planes. I'm gonna use my wings. I'm gonna use my bone sword. Can um did. Did Hera boost me? Uh, how are you? Like you, you you're helping with it, the, the, Is, your, like, is your like cooking going to be good enough? Uh, cooking was not one of your hobbies. TTRPGs no. was. So exactly. I'm going to allow you to use your base to be helping with your cooking. Yep. But that's but no other, no other dice. Uh, and then the Manticore. Are they helping at all? Barbie? Um, I'm going to use my plasma beam and just... <laughs> so plasma beam plus base. Uh, and you're just gonna take, try and take them all out. Uh, is that six? Any of any dice? Any uh, any you got stress dice? You're adding. I have a stress die. So that's Do stress, I, stress, dice stress dice. Yeah, I have a stress dice too. So that's two stress dice okay. that added to the pool. Dread, the dread. You've got uh, you've got stress. I got one stress. Yeah. You got one stress, so that has okay. to be added yep. to the pool as well. So you're rolling nine dice. You need four successes, but three of which are stress dice. The rice balls were in the shape of little Cthulhu's, and I actually had like little octopus, like fried octopus legs as well that went with my my obento. Nice. Okay, funny story. <laughs> oh no. Uh, I did get five successes. Woo! But you'll take out one of the planes. But one of my stress die was a one. All right, and because you all contributed, that is a stress for each of you. So. The two kaijus will transform back into schoolgirls and be out of the scene because of the exhaustion. The one schoolgirl will turn into a kaiju <laughs> and have to deal with the two biplanes. All so right. as you as you succeeded, you got five successes and I asked for four. So I'll say that you managed to take out two of the three planes instead. Woo! So you uh, you go down with the bone saw and shush, cut them in half. Shush. You see the, the, the proto biplane uh, smash into two and uh, eject again with parachutes. <laughs> No, Kaiju! And then uh, Dread, uh, Dag, rather, you left across. What is your plasma beam? It's just from your mouth, or? Uh, yes, it is a plasma beam of tiny manticles. <laughs> <laughs> just, uh, just spitting a whole bunch of manticles. And like a swarm of locusts, the wings of this biplane are just left behind and cartoon like there's just this metal like shell of, of what the, the guys were playing. Uh, and they just. <laughs> They nosedive into the uh, <clears throat> into the um, the pond nearby in the school. <clears throat> as the uh, uh, as the two of you uh, do this, <clears throat> the stress of exerting yourself against these uh, these these biplanes is too much, and you feel your kaiju form starting to wear off. Uh, you can just about get yourself in uh, where whereabouts on school ground you wish to be to try and hide out, uh, knowing full well how much it takes out of you once you've finished transforming. However. With you, with you lobbing your your uh, rice as much as possible, and the stress of seeing your friends potentially getting shot by these um, the, these these biplanes, uh, you feel like that that worry and that bubbling up is is about to transform you, Dread. Uh, I need uh, I need some rolls from you. Are you going to uh, choose one of your kaiju things? Or are you going to roll three random? I'm going to roll three random. All right, what you get? Three d twenty. Yep, three d twenty. I hope you get wings. Yeah, it'd be great if okay. one of them was a nine. <laughs> I got a one, a twenty, and an eighteen. You do not have wings, but you do share a bioplasma projectile. So you got a bioplasma projectile. That was your one. What was the others? Um, uh, 20 and an 18. 18 is spiked leathery skin. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, and a 20 is writhing tentacles, which I think uh, which I think fits with your occult. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So you've got a bioplasma projectile, spiked leathery skin, and writhing tentacles. What do you look like? Um, oh, and give okay. me a d6 to see how many stories tall you are. A one. A one. All right. You're yeah. only one story tall. Still pretty tall. Yeah. You're like, you know, what's that? 10 feet tall or something? Um, but you're the smallest of the three of you, your kaiju yeah. forms. Um, tell me what you look like. I'm, uh, I'm actually quite, I'm actually, uh, I'm quite, uh, the story says that I'm, the, I'm a short kaiju. That's when I get mad. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to say that um, uh, I have a, 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 uh, a cat-like face uh, as I grow up, and there's there's a cat face, with, and I'm 
pitch black. Uh, my leathery skin looks like uh, night, and you can actually see various star forms sort of like moving through it. I have these these nice. tentacles on my front uh, front form as well that writhe and wriggle and wrap Ooh, around gross. things mindlessly. Uh, and also, you can see that the cat eye uh, has a third eye that opens up and then just glows Ooh, this this like nice. this beam. Um, as this happens, my Avento box hits the ground and I start freaking out. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> You've seen uh, your bento you, box has got small, small dent in it now in the corner from where it's hit. Yeah. The oh no! And then a knock over a few poles and things as well. They start freaking out. The tentacles go up through the holes and the it, through the bathroom. Yeah. <laughs> the water sp- still spraying out. It climbs you up onto the 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 roof of the building now. Just as you're seeing your friends transforming, uh, where are the two of you heading for? As you're as you're feeling yourself transform, are you trying to get to cover? Trying to get back into inside? I, uh, I have I have a sleeping bush. <laughs> you just like ah, oh, this is happening. I'm going off. Yeah, I'm going off to the. It, uh, every time it happens, there's just yeah, there's like a, a bush on the south side of the building that I just go and <laughs> It's take. a nice Japanese garden. They just call it a garden. Yeah. Um, and... um, there's a there's a small sports shed where I keep a spare change of clothes. Um, <laughs> you start heading for the sports building. As, as, as I start as, 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 as I start uh, yeah flying towards it and, and taking on uh, taking on my form again, I uh, I start to try and, and cover myself up as I uh, as. as <laughs> As I go from yeah yeah as as I as I make my way to the there's uh, um the, there's it it jumps zooms, zooms back to um uh, to the maths building and watching from the window uh, this this biplane attack and stuff is uh, Hobbit uh, and then he sees you flying <laughs> away and then you see his eyes go really wide and his nose starts bleeding <laughs> <laughs> I pick up and throw a bus <laughs> just, okay. I just throw a All right. Uh, this great. is going to be a fight roll for you. The other two are out of the scene because of exhaustion, so they can't um, uh, they can't help. Uh, this is oh, a single yeah. biplane. Um, uh, they are moving though relatively much. Uh, I'm going to say three. A challenge of three. Okay. Cool. No, I'm going to say a challenge of two. It'll be nice. All right. So I use my octopus. Uh, octopus. Octopus uh, limbs for sure. Your base, of course. Yeah, yeah. I, I would say they're big tentacles, but at the end, it's like these small cat. Uh, pause on each cat at the pause end. on each of the tentacles. Yeah. That's so gross. All I'm right. Throw that, and I'm gonna just light up my third eye as well, and just like do a sweep. And it'll like the projectile will sort of push the bush bus as it goes. Um. All right. So I'll allow those three uh, to your rolls. Two. You need two of them to be successes. Uh, add any stress. Oh no, you you transformed. So I just transformed. Yeah. And it's it's uh two to, uh, three dice all up. Three dice and- all up. Yep, and three threes are a success. Three or higher. No, no, five. Fives are higher a success. Five or higher a success. Oh, yeah, the three dice. And how many successes do I need? You need I believe two. in you. Ah, I got, a, I got a six, a one, and a two. All right. Um, th- That is a failure, but it's like a ah. pat. You, you got one of the two that I was asking for. So the challenge goes down to a one. So every success yep. does reduce the challenge. Oh, nice. But every time that you roll, the story progresses one way or another. So... Yeah. <laughs> You um you get a stress uh, added to your kaiju pool. Oh, um, yeah. as the bus whoo, flies over, it, it it clips one of the wings and sends them into a barrel roll. Uh, it'll it'll push them off course for a little while. But um, I'm, I'm going to say that the progression to the story is that the siren has started to get louder and louder at the school. Uh, people have started to run for cover, and uh, the elite. Uh, government agents have started to arrive at the school so not just the biplanes that are ones that are just like scouting out for kaijus the elite uh, government agents are starting to arrive as well as they arrive i'm gonna do my kaiju roar and go (laughs) 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 as you nya um the uh the 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 um uh, uh agents are going to start approaching um and you and and you hear them saying uh um do you think that this has anything to do with the rifts we've been seeing around town? Uh, do you think these are regular kaiju or... And one of them says, of course they're regular kaiju. It's a kaiju prep. They're always the same three kaijus. They're always <laughs> coming from kaiju prep. I don't know why. And they're like, yes, well, that's why we're stationed here. That's why we have a government agency building just on the lawn out front. Because, uh, yes, but no, it... <laughs> so stop asking stupid questions and take him down. Uh, and they will get out some proto weapons that are uh, uh, anachronistic for the time, but they are essentially um, they're essentially uh, like net firing guns, and they're gonna <laughs> fire it up towards you in order to try and uh, escape out of the way of it. You do not have wings; you've got tentacles instead. Yeah. Um, so it's going to be slightly harder for you to get out of the way of it. It's going to be a challenge of two. Um, okay. 
I'm gonna so the spikes that are on my form they actually push off my form. Uh, you guys actually see their little spikes and their little uh, their little cats with uh, with hoods. So they're actually like uh, cultists. Uh, or, uh, yeah, got, like, and they start the spike. Of the, is their spikes the claws of the cats? Yeah, yeah. Nice. So they they, they pop they go, and they start speaking um, eldritch eldritch stuff. So uh, they're little they're little cultists that have embedded themselves. All right. So your base anyway. dice, you're gonna use your spiky thing because if the net yep. hits you, it'll hit the spikes and potentially de- uh, destroy itself anyway. Uh, um, are you adding anything else? I'm gonna always light up that that third eye because <laughs> you can maybe smash that t- that, that net out of the way. My bio cannon looks like uh, rainbow light as well. Nice. You see sparkles sort of like fly off it as well. All right, you've pretty. got three plus the stress dice from before. Um, so oh, and the stress dice as well. Yeah, yeah. you got a really stress dice. Uh, okay, I got a I got a one and one a two and a six on my stress dice. All right, so the ones weren't on your stress dice, so no transforming, but uh, that was that was still a failure because you didn't get two. Uh, so no! to, to to beat the biplane, that's now a challenge written of one for you. Yep. To avoid the, the net or to get out of the net is now yeah. a challenge written one, but this net gun hits you. It wraps up some of your tentacles. The cats start trying to claw at it, but it's, a, it's quite a, a hard, fibrous material. The two of you kind of like exhausted, Vi just like sleeping in a bush, uh, you, you look up and you see your tentacle friend clinging to the side of this uh, this ha- half destroyed mats building uh, gets smashed Away. by this net. As falls. the net goes on, my tears start coming down. <laughs> <laughs> Anime style tears. Um, yeah. You get caught, caught and captured for now. Uh, as the agents start to approach, you see them dressed in um, a, a black robes that kind of like a, 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 um, a, a double breasted suit um, as they're approaching. They, uh, they, they, they hold out. Um, they hold out their weapons. It looks like glowing swords, like glowing with some sort of iridescent quality. And they say, "What do you know about the portals?" Kaiju, speak. Uh, 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 I don't know anything. Tell us about the portals, or we'll slice these tentacles right off. Have we gone into a different scene since their capture? Um, I'll say. I'll say yes, because it's like into a capture ter- interrogation scene now. You guys have had a little bit of uh, time I'm to gonna, rest. You've gotten uh, redressed. Um, and you are now as, your, your schoolgirls. Happened, I'm going to say, it's all Lycum's fault. It's Lycum's fault. His name's Lycum. Um, no, it's a fact. Well, who is this Lycum? What does he look like? I'm going to just like tap the guy interrogating on, on <laughs> the shoulder. Wander up. Bing, bing, bing. Ah! He turns around and takes a swing. It goes right <laughs> above your head because you're a little schoolgirl and he wasn't expecting it. Oh, don't sneak up on a government official like that. Yeah, what does he look like, Dread? Yeah, what? What does Lycum look like? He has a ponytail and a red <laughs> shirt and he wears a black overshirt. <laughs> As you're saying this, you guys hear this. <laughs> In in the he distance, the far in that infuriating way. <laughs> nah, he's, he's not that handsome. No, he's not one of my more handsome friends. Um, it, there's a there's a there's a tearing of there's a tearing of a portal way off in the distance in the center of the city. It seems, and as you're saying uh, this description of Lycum, uh, you see in the distance this this towering figure, almost uh, silhouetted by the sun. Of this huge, hulking tall, probably like 12 story tall creature, uh, mostly bipedal, but he is wearing this sort of, he's got this dark cloak of, of fur, and he's got this red sort of chest of fur. His, his, he- his, his, his mane runs down his back in this ponytail like fashion as a Lycum Kaiju emerges from the dimensional rifts that were, what was the wording? Dimensional rifts popping up all over the city. That was your unknown, uh, unknown threat. I just point. <laughs> and just, just not on the back the, of the thing what do you know yeah, about the portals and you're just like a, it's um there's a, okay. a big giant monster um all right um, i'm going to roll to see what uh traits this guy has how is this gonna look so i'm just a little kaiju i'm not even that big all right that Ooh, was like baby. interesting <laughs> i got two, want to hurt a baby i got two 15s <laughs> And 15 was rows upon rows of teeth. So he has rows upon rows rows upon rows upon rows of teeth. All mouth. (laughs) And he also has a lightning shroud. As he he stands up, you kind of see this bipedal, almost humanoid looking figure. Um, Looks like uh, somebody in a costume, like like Power Rangers style. Uh, And (laughs) it it looks like this guy looks very much like like him, but he's got this this kaiju-esque body. And then as he opens his mouth... (laughs) 
I don't know if you've seen one of those horrific gifts that people have done yeah. where the entire top half of a head ah. opens up. But you see his, his whole head opens up and there's just teeth all the way down. And then those teeth kind of extend down the side, Joker-style mouth, extend down the side of his mouth and into his neck. And there's just teeth down there. And then he starts to, as he roars, there's this lightning. And the agents say, We need your help! We know your kaijus! You need, you need to help us or the entire city of whatever we call it is going to be destroyed. Hearts, hearts and health. Hey, hey, what's your name, sir? My name is, uh, my name, my name is, uh, it, it's, it's classified. Okay, well, you need to apologize to us because you tried to attack us with planes and, like, we are not going to help you if you, and you still have my friend tied You also up made Harajan cry. Can you make, you are, and, can you, and I cried <laughs> earlier and it was very scary and I didn't can you, like it. Can you make a... Can you make, uh, this is essentially going to be uh, a persuasion to try and persuade him to apologize in this moment. Uh, the challenge yeah, well, rating... I also feel like I can add my fanfic oh, yeah. to this. The challenge rating is a one. You just need one success um, because of the dire straits. Yep. He's, he's willing to say Double whatever he needs. Double success. I got two sixes. <laughs> awesome. Um, you succeed and he says, uh, uh, of course, I'm, uh, I'm apologize. And he sort of does a respectful bow. Uh, and he says, you need, to, you need to assist us, though, otherwise... That's right. And another lightning shoots off and smashes some building in the city, which starts to tip, topple. Okay, so this is going to sound weird, but I am going to have to just, like, smack myself across the face to make this happen. Um, I mean, if whatever you need to... Shh, shh, shh. I need you to not be a part of it. This is on me. <laughs> <laughs> just let me do my thing. It'll go quicker this way. Okay, just uh, don't look at me. Don't look at me. I don't like it when people look at me. He, I'm going to go back into my turns, sleeping bush. He, he turns around. You walk back to your sleeping bush. You see that the biplane that was fighting you that got clipped by the bus has started to spin around. Now it's got a, it's definitely got smoke coming out of its one, one of its proto engines. And it started heading towards the city in the lightning shrouds. Uh, the agents that are stationed in Kaju Prep have started moving uh, back towards their station to get their equipment and things, re reload their net guns and such. And then they're going to start heading that way. How are the two Kaijus, if this is your intention to turn kaiju and fight kaiju against kaiju uh how what's your what's what's your plan to make yourself stressed enough that you turn into a kaiju um so i did tell him it was i was gonna smack myself but that's not true she um ha um she's so nervous about uh having her first kiss be correct that Aww. anytime she thinks about having someone kiss her she freaks out and so she's just gonna go back and like think about <laughs> her think crush about who that. might kiss her and then she's just she'll just like come out of the sleeping bush and then be like yeah i hit myself real good right across the face uh, yeah now. definitely I'm pain not <laughs> all right i'm going to um i'm i'm, I'm going to to look at vi and say coward and I'm going to go and plant one on Hobart. <laughs> you, you rush over to Hobart, who's just made his way down the, the smashed up stairs of this building. <laughs> and he's and he's moved, uh, he's moved past like uh, 200 uh, construction workers who are just like always on call, especially at Kaiju Prep. Um, and they've just started moving their way in. They've got their, they've, 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 each of them have got wheelbarrows and shovels and they're just ready to start moving concrete uh, out. blushes. There's yep. a and, I, <laughs> and I basically say, uh, you know, like I do the Bridget Jones, Jones thing of like, I know we, we, we've just met and I know that uh, that things might be complicated, but I'm just a, a six-story tall girl <laughs> looking into the eyes of a of a probably only three foot something uh, <laughs> something boy asking I... if he wants to have a milkshake with him after school today. Oh, Bobby, I, I I've always known in some level that you are special, but I want to show you something. And uh -oh. he, he he takes out his, uh, his his notebook, and he and he hands it to you, and you open it up, and it's a sketchbook of just like drawings and scribbles. And almost all of them are in some way Manticore related. He says, oh. "I've always been, I've always been such a fan of Manticores and uh, and beasts with too many teeth and spikes. And I, I would be honoured to get a milkshake with you." <laughs> and then he leans in and he gives you a kiss, which uh, which which you see 
um, uh, uh, Vi, and you see this this kiss. Oh, it's so special. <laughs> come, ba- come back, uh, <laughs> binding yourself yourselves into love over the shared interest in monsters. Uh, there's nothing more romantic than that. And so I'm going to have you. Uh, it's not a guaranteed thing. You still have to stress yourself out enough to turn. Right. So I'm going right, to say. I would also like to petition that I'm going to fuse with Hobart and have like a two-headed kaiju. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> I will see what you roll. Um, we'll okay. start with Sarah. Uh, you're Horrifying. gonna you're gonna roll me um, you're gonna roll me a challenge to try and turn yourself into a kaiju at will. It's pretty difficult. Uh, I'll, I'll set the DC. You tell me what you're you're, you're using here. Uh, you're using your first kiss special. You're using your base dice, obviously. Uh, do you have any stress yet? I don't believe you do, right? Although I'm going to say that I'm going to say that the situation of the city being destroyed uh, by someone other than you is uh, is pretty stressful. So each of you have got a stress dice uh, on top of it, into your pool now. I mean, this absolutely feels like a scene that she would write in her fanfic. A hundred percent. Yeah, we, we are just all fanfic. living in a vibe fanfic. That's... And 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 your yeah. uh, so you write fanfic when the camera and you're uh... back. This is just me <laughs> writing. Writing. You write a fanfic and you have creative writing as a separate uh, tag as well. I'll allow both in this situation oh, because you uh, you're, you're familiar with how story acts should go and how uh, if this was a story that people were watching, we'd be getting to the end, end of it, this and so important. would need to succeed at this thing. Um, all right. All right. I'm ready. How many do I need? Uh, so you've got how many in your pool? Five. Five. Oh, you have no. transformed. You have transformed earlier today. Uh, so the D- the DC is slightly lower. What'd you get? No, no. You didn't get any. I got nothing. <laughs> oh, I got one, one though, and it's on my stress die. <laughs> <laughs> so you get yourself. This is hilarious. You get yourself so worked up trying to get. Trying to get into your kaiju, and you're like, you're trying, and you're thinking about how stressful it would be to be in a situation where you're about to get kissed, and it's not perfect. Maybe you haven't brushed your teeth. Maybe you feel like you've just finished PE and you're sweaty, and so it's not perfect. And you and you think you're imagining you're putting yourself in a fanfic situation, and you're trying to get you stressed out, and you're like, it's not happening. I'm not feeling it. Why am I not feeling it? And that feeling of being stressed out at not feeling it is so stressful that you start to turn, and you still don't realize that you're turning because you're focusing on why you're not turning. Yeah, I'm gonna come out from behind. <laughs> behind the bush and say to Hera, I'm really sorry, I couldn't make it happen. This um, is a story tall. <laughs> you don't realize that your perspective, everything's shrunk down, nothing's pulling out to you. Yeah. Um, you, me- you did it! <laughs> you, you did it! <laughs> oh! The, the, yeah. you're, you're like you, you you reach down with your bone sword and cut through the rest <laughs> of the net that's on uh, on yeah. Hera's and and you're like uh, you're like I, I'm so sorry and you cut her loose and you're like I didn't manage to do it and you I just like do <laughs> lift her Harris, up with Harris tentacles like just like <laughs> and just like wrap around you for a, oh, for a hug. Yeah. Gorgeous. Um, while this is happening, uh, Dag, what what are you doing to try and make yourself transform? You've just you've just kissed this guy. What are you what are you rolling? What are you uh, what are you using here? Um, oh, I am, I am absolutely, um, using my cheerleader because I'm clearly hot and popular. Mm-hmm, um, mm-hmm. I am using... Your base dice, of course. Uh, my base dice. I've got, uh, I want to, I cleared out my stress when I turned back. You've definitely got um, a stress from this being a stressful situation. Okay, so I've got that one. Um, I am going to go with, um... I, I will, I'll at, say. In the corner of my eye, I see my English teacher. I was, I was just about to say, <laughs> you see an English teacher um, saying, um, uh, you know, uh, if you're, if you're going to, uh, what does it say? I think you say something like, um, I don't know, what, I, I don't know what, what we can do. Uh, th- this situation seems like something we can't do anything about. And the English teacher says. Don't leave a, a hanging participle on the end of a sentence. You don't end a sentence with a with a. And he said something about your grammar, which just just, like, we, this. <laughs> just, yeah, that's just. Me. Just shared something about your gra- your grammar in this moment. Uh, you can add your English teacher dice to the roll. Um, who is now who is now a permanent part of my first kiss? <laughs> yes, yeah, which has which has stressed you out. I'm gonna add another stress dice to your pool. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, thousands of innocent people screaming. Wow. I mean, no, no, no successes. Okay, so one, 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 one. You got five what? ones. Mm-hmm. On five dice. On five dice. Two of which were stress dice. Two of which were stress dice. Does that mean 
that they transform yes. twice. Yes, I'm going to say yes. So I'm going to need another d20 from you. You're going to get another kaiju ability <laughs> into, your, okay. into your form, which might well be but from you absorbing Hobbit rat. <laughs> okay, that is a nat 20! Nat 20, you also, now seeing this writhing tentacles of your friend wrapping up for a hug, you, you as you are kissing Hobbit, uh, your, your face starts to exude tentacles from it and wraps around the back of his head. <laughs> and you also have writhing tentacles now as he... <laughs> It's just absorbed into your being as you grow these huge manticore-like wings <laughs> filled with manticores. Um, Hobart is a part of you now and, and has uh, taken form as writhing tentacles. This sounds like, this is like a creepy pasta at this point. <laughs> <laughs> this is <laughs> horrific. Don't you don't think that's how first kisses are supposed to go? I... <laughs> oh, no, they don't know this! My eyes! <laughs> 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 All right, we're gonna we're gonna go we're gonna go into a uh, final battle as the three of you, uh, <laughs> assisted by one proto biplane that's still in existence, and a bunch mm. of people with net guns and uh, a bunch of an- agents, start heading their way to the city. You see one of these agents bring out a um, that that sword that was crackling with that same sort of iridescent quality, and he strikes down at the air in front of him, which cuts open one of these portals that you've seen uh, that you ran into this morning, Dag. Um, it seems like these guys have been aware of these dimensional rifts for a while. He steps through it and you see them appear in the distance on top of a building nearby. And they start to fire nets at the uh, the, the, the giant... Uh, what what was he called, Doug? Uh, um, Dread? What was he um, called? Uh, uh, Lycum. Lycum Nezavak uh, is uh, the, the kaiju. I tell Hera to hop on. All right. <laughs> My back. Slopping your well, way like- up. However uh, you want to hold yeah. with all your tentacles. Yeah, my you tentacles. Want to, like, hold out of my see, neck or whatever, like however you want to do it. You see one of my nine, my, one of my nine tentacles with uh, ropes around you, uh, holding on, and then and then the cat face goes, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> dragonfly wings oh go, manticores just all flapping their wings, almost dragonfly like as well, because they've all got tiny wings, but there's just a lot Teeny, of tiny them. wings. <laughs> yeah. So you are heading that way. What are you? Where, whereabouts on your on your manticore body are these writhing tentacles, Dag? Um, I imagine that they're like along, <laughs> like what would otherwise be a very fluffy uh, lion belly just is like now just this, this these like like it's long so tendrils. It's kind of like I, I fly it. over people and it picks them up. <laughs> oh, what? oh right. what a nice day! So, oh, the kaiju's a fun. Ah! As you, <laughs> as you're approaching, because one of, uh, um, because one of Lycum's abilities was uh, lightning shroud, you're gonna have oh. to get close. The first challenge of this fight is you getting close enough to do any sort of damage to him, even with your bioplasma things. It's a huge lightning storm that is above the whole city. Uh, to evade it, I'm going to ask for a, a challenge, a challenge two from each of you. So you can't help each other out because uh, you're all gonna try and succeed on this thing separately. So you um, can add whatever like you I'm think gonna you're going to need. I'm going to use my wings. Your wings and your base to... dice. Mm-hmm. Any stress that you have. Oh, you just, trans- just transformed, so, I... so you're fine. No, no stress. Uh, and Dag, you've no stress because you've transformed as well. Um, uh, so put your put your things together. You know how this works by now. And just tell, yeah. me, th- tell me how many successes you've got. Two! You got two. You managed to avoid all damage <laughs> flying through this storm. Yeah. You also got two, the manticore wings, managed to evade most of the lightning. Uh-oh. I transform. You transform, you got a yeah. one on your stress. And no successes. Well, it, uh, she's on my back. Yep, she's on your back, so yeah. you are now stressed out and <laughs> holding on to the back of this, uh, the back of this unicorn. I have a really beautiful mane that you can hold on to. <clears throat> yeah, I just, I, I wrap myself up in it, I'm just like, cuddling. All right. He, uh, I'm going to roll for him as well uh, and see it just to see if he takes out any of the NPCs. Uh, he does, uh, because as NPCs work in this game, they have a survivability rating of uh, anywhere from three, four, or five, and I have to roll that or more uh, to succeed. So if they're an important NPC, you need a, a three or more. Uh, yeah, need a three or more to survive. But uh, I rolled, I rolled 
um, terribly for all of the NPCs. <laughs> so he manages to take out the remaining biplane and two of the two of the uh, like let's say four uh, guys with nets. So you're you're pretty you're going to be almost on your own for this this uh, this fight. But you've uh, for the most part evaded the lightning. <laughs> lightning strikes across your cat tentacle friend, <laughs> and, har- and it's enough to stress Harrow enough that you uh, you drop out of out of this form. Um, <clears throat> the next stage of this is going to be avoiding his first rows of teeth. As you get close enough to actually do damage to him, he's going to strike out at you with his big old swiping palm. And as he does so, <laughs> this mouth opens up in his palm, filled with rows of teeth. <laughs> and he's going to strike oh, out at you. Um, so for this scene, because you have just transformed, these are these like stages are all different scenes. You're going to be out of this one, Dred. Um, but yeah. the other two, uh, okay. you managed to you, you have to evade this in some way. Okay. So put I your mean, pull together like... that you feel is appropriate. Your wings is yep. appropriate. You could blast it with a, a, a bioplasma thing. You could try and impale his hand with your hot bone sword. Whatever you're trying to do. <clears throat> all right. Here we go. You need two successes. I got two successes. You managed to do it. What were you trying to do? Just evade or pe- impale or s- s- bite teeth against teeth? Or? Uh, yeah. Um. I sort of did the. I, I used. I used everything. <laughs> I used every. Just I put just, my head like, in that way. Opened my yeah, mouth and flew at it. I just came in it. in like a weird, like panicked <laughs> frenzy ball. Like <laughs> fair enough. Harry's just like ah. Yeah. <laughs> and you've been to and, and from being a, from being at a ren fair, you know how to handle a sword. So you uh, you manage to stab him. He cuts through one of his fingers. His finger goes tumble into the ground and crushes a milk stand. Mil- crushes a milkshake. A milkshake shock. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, as it crushes the milkshake shop, um, <laughs> Bobby Chan uh, enrages. Um, you watch as, as Barbie Chan uh, goes down and using the tendrils starts pulling the rubble off, uh, off Milkman son and Milkmaid son. Uh, you know, and as he does so, he kind of, uh, she kind of looks down and, uh, you know, sees like a, a broken cup of milkshake. Uh, enraged, she uh, she uses like the tendrils to like lap up like a bunch of like the fallen milkshake. And as this happens, you watch as her stomach starts to like grow. Uh, and I'm going to then turn it into like this. Uh, as 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 Barbie Chan just sort of says, "Don't look at me." As, <laughs> oh no! As as the gas just kind of builds up and like pressurizes, and then you just see this <laughs> as. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna drop a bomb on, uh, All right. on, on this dude. And that, is that is that how you're evading his his hand fist slap thing? Yeah, basically it's like this cloud of like it's like a stench cloud as it were. Gotcha. All right. Uh, so add the appropriate dice that you have, including any stress that you have. Two successes. Two successes. That's what you needed. You evade, evade his hand. Gets the finger cut off. He kind of, and as he's waving that around, he reaches down to grab his finger, which brings his head close enough for the stench cloud to fill up his face. He's gonna get a stress dice added to his pool for that. Actually, two stress dice because you've cut off his finger and your uh, and you've uh, stench clouded him. Is, is there a way that I can try to um, impale him with my bone sword? Like you it, can now that now his, that you are in his um, like tender bits. In his tender bits, you immediately <laughs> vzz, do a back back flippy roll thing. Uh, uh, Haru, Haru, uh, you uh, life or death in this situation as you are plummeting down towards <laughs> his tender bits. Um, you guys now get to decide what to happen. You've you've evaded two of his first attacks, his aura, and then his first attack. Now you guys tell me what are you doing to try and take him down. We've got uh, pigs and pins going for the, uh, the the bits. Harrow, this is a new scene, so you get to be involved in some way, but you are back into your schoolgirl form. What hex his bits? Hex his bits. I'm gonna hit. I'm gonna hex his bits. With my <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> hex his bits. Hex bits. We're going right. to hex him and stab him. This is definitely an, a Let's combined start. effort. So you're going to stab, you're going to occult. It's all in one combined pool. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to heat up the bone sword with my plasma beam. Yeah. <laughs> plasma beam of manticores. So like bees, like bees when they buzz around a wasp to kill it by raising its body temperature. You fire yeah. out this plasma beam of manticores, which, wow. which starts swirling around your bone sword as you're flying down yeah. this way. And they're vibrating and... 
<laughs> and they and just as the last second they peel off having heated up the bone you're going to try and stab so this is all combined pool uh pigs and pins the other one's actually uh, doing the stabbing so you're going to be the one rolling for it but let's put them together right. you've got three base dice from the three of you you've got right. a bone sword you've got flying that makes sense you've got a right. plasma beam you've got an occult uh any stress dice that any of you got do either of you have stress? Um, one? No stress for me. I, I just I, I have one stress. One stress from okay. Dag. So you've got That's eight dice. Eight. Here we go. It's the old one, two, three. Everybody knows this maneuver. Everybody knows. It's, it's an obvious maneuver. <laughs> it's taught in Kaiju Press, actually. <laughs> one, two, three, four. Five successes. Five successes. Oh my goodness! All right. And that's... no ones. So yeah, I was gonna say no ones. So the stress dice did not. <laughs> Thank make you goodness. Transform. Yeah, that would have been stabbing very uncomfortable. Oh no! Got to hold on. Oh, I hate it. All right. So you were about six feet off the ground. Uh, six uh, six stories off the ground as as you were aiming for his half uh, height. <laughs> You stab yeah. into him uh, like a like a three year old headbutting you in the uh, naughty bits. Um, hey, that it hurts, hurts him, real bad. It hurts him quite a lot. Oh yes, yes it does. Um, so he's just going to take another stress from that as well. Obviously, so. uh, yeah, stressful. that is a success. What is it, what did it look like when you were hexing his bits there? Um, How are you doing uh, it through a book? Or through yeah, magic? I would say so. With one hand wrapped around the mane, the other if they take out my tone, I'm like. My eyes start to glow that eerie hellish red as I flick the pages with gestures of my head. And I find the hex bits, uh, eldritch spell, and that's when I start speaking these dark, uh, de like demonic words. Obviously, it's on page right. sixty-nine Texas. of your tome. Yeah, yeah sixty-nine yeah. of the tome. Um, all right, Texas, uh, he is Cubasis. going to. He's going to retaliate now. It's his turn. He's going to uh, his base dice. He's got his rows upon rows of teeth. Uh, he's got his rows upon rows of teeth, uh, and he's got his two stress dice, uh, which are going to be this one and this one. Uh, the B one and the other one. Okay. Um, he's going to make an attack uh, at at the uh, the unicorn thing that's just slammed him in the crotch, understandably. Why? And he gets... Oh, he gets three successes out of the five and no stress. Oh, um, no! So that is going to be a successful smack against you. You get another point of stress, uh, pixies and pins. Yeah. And Harrow, because you're on the back, you're also going to get a point Ow. of stress from this. Ooh. There's a big sla slap from both sides. Wham! Um, with his hands around both sides and then the fingers grow teeth along their edges and <laughs> impale inwards. Uh, you are you are grappled by him and he's going to bring his mouth down ah, and he's going to try and bite you on his next turn. Um, it's back to you guys. What are you doing to try and to try and take this guy down? He's getting a little bit stressed out, but he's still hanging in there for the, for the moment. Uh, can I try to use my tendrils to like sort of like try and keep his mouth off of eye? Oh, you can because uh, because yeah. I wanna I wanna I wanna do this because um, I I know that Vi's first kiss is very important. <laughs> so he's bringing his and mouth so, and and so like, I'm no, trying, not I'm, consensual. You know, it's, like, it's like no, and then yeah, so I'm I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna take the blow as it were awesome all right so you're going to use your tendrils to get in the way of it um any, anything else else anybody's adding to it to uh, uh to this? i actually feel like if you're holding his head in place that maybe we do a twist beauty killed the beast situation <laughs> yeah <laughs> um and maybe vi's gonna like plant one out like this they're both many teeth pretty special creatures it's very special <laughs> and and as we all know, Lycum is a very handsome guy, even very if his, even if his friends troll him by Aww. pretending like he's not. <laughs> yeah, uh, he's actually very handsome. I'm a, exactly. I'm all right, so you, so so uh, Manticore whoosh, coming up, grabbing the the head with the tentacles, using tentacles. You're gonna lean, lean back your rows and rows of teeth as he's opening his rows and rows of teeth. So many. This, this unicorn, this unicorn <laughs> teeth. <laughs> And this humanoid teeth, they're coming in. And as we all know, the best kisses is when the teeth clash. <clears throat> yeah. yeah. Oh. Um, it is when you are a creature with rows and rows of teeth. <laughs> rows and rows and rows and rows of teeth. So we've got the the, the two base dice. Haru, are you going to somehow get involved? Um, I'm going to say you've got, that... You've got science and TTRPGs so if you can somehow gonna, use those. <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm going to go with... Um, uh, I don't know how to help here. Okay, You've so got Harris, some, Harris, some, Harris, some, Harris, something to do with the knowledge Harris of Call of Cthulhu. Like, Harry's gonna be like, 
uh, uh, don't you do it, don't you do it, he's my rival, don't you do it! Using my rival and base. <laughs> Oh, right, make, yes. it, make it more make like it you more, know like more, more tense like, situation yeah, yeah you gotta build it, you're like, building the tension oh, i'm definitely gonna, gonna be... do this yeah 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 like like egging her on in a way that schoolgirls will do where it's like yeah. oh don't no no don't but it, oh, really no, don't do it. all right so we've got three base dice we've got a rival dice we've got a tentacle dice from dag we've got uh we've got teeth from you uh any stress dice from you what who's, who's got stress die. you got stress I have... I Dag's, have stress as Dag's well. got a stress, I believe. Dred's got a stress. So that's nine dice. Is there anything else we're adding? The school drama. School drama, yeah, of course, school drama. Uh, I believe that's, that might that's be it. Ten dice. Ten dice. All right. If you can roll ten dice, I think three of which are stress dice. We'll see if this kiss goes ahead. God, is it me? Am I rolling it? Is. it? Yes, you're the yeah. one trying to oh, yeah, uh, yeah. to plant one on okay. him. Okay. Okay. It's your first. Oh, kiss. Okay. Here we go. <clears throat> okay, hold on. I'm checking on these other ones. Five successes. One stress die that was a one. Excellent. So, perfect. This is going to work out very well. <laughs> so I, uh... I like smooch him and then I like faint. <laughs> yeah, as you as you bring your your horn up. It pierces through this, the forehead of his as your mouth meets his. It yeah. sort of stabs him in the forehead. You kiss him. You bring your rows of teeth together, which uh, his are kind of like circular saw and rotating this way, yeah. and yours are clamping this way, and it, and they, they mash together, and it's like t it's two gears grinding. It's like if you it's beautiful. drive you drive a manual and you suddenly bring the clutch up, and it's oh, <laughs> all the, you no. can hear the ge gears grind. The gear it's not quite in gear. <laughs> You're all watching this. There's there's teeth flying. <laughs> there's Crap. there's chunks of there's chunks of building just still falling from all of the buildings <laughs> that everybody's been smashing. There's lightning around. <laughs> but like this time slows. <sighs> As the lightning. <laughs> <laughs> Feels like fireworks. <laughs> and it's just lighting up the sides of the face. <laughs> <laughs> it's 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 as spe it's every bit as special as you'd hoped it would be for your first it's kiss the with like Let me tell you what of you... no one has had a first kiss like this. <laughs> that is very true. That is very the true. most <laughs> special. As you uh, and... I mean Hobart's first kiss was probably uh, pretty special too. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> In that he got absorbed into another person's form. <laughs> uh, and um and, and there's like this moment where um as like the rubble is like kind of falling around um, there's like this, just this, this sound of like a na narrative voice. And it was those years that we would remember fondly. <laughs> where, the narrative where starts we... as the two yeah. kaijus just start to shrink down to their regular yeah. form. We started that year as girls becoming kaiju, uh, being attacked by, by biplanes, trying to make out with boys, playing Dungeons and Dragons in the science room. But we would never forget that summer was the summer that we became kaiju women. <laughs> <laughs> and with that, we will end the game. Amazing. Thank you very much for joining us, everybody. Look what we Forget did. about me. We <laughs> As the credits roll. There's a appropriate to the 80s the 1880s uh, there's like a there's like a freeze frame everybody jumps up and ha ah! um, and uh, the credits roll and uh, that's where we're going to leave Kaiju Girls a one page RPG by Grant Howitt thank you Grant you crazy definitely bastard definitely played as intended everything um, was exactly how he imagined it yeah I'm sure Oh, yeah. I bet it. I bet it was amazing. So, th so uh, before we leave off, uh, just go around the table, tell everybody who you were today, who you will be tomorrow, and where people can find you <laughs> if they liked that stuff. Uh, we'll start. I'll, let me roll my d3. We'll start with Dag. Hi, g'day guys. My name's Michael. I'm the Dead Aussie Gamer. I'm a tabletop role player in the D and D Twitch space. You can find me over on my my channel, twitchtv gamer. You can also find me all over the internet. Hit Google. You'll probably find me. Um, this was a lot of fun. Um, I I definitely enjoy uh, I definitely enjoy playing. Uh...
uh, one page RPGs with the delightful and wonderful Sarah. You can see we've done a bunch of stuff as well uh, over on Sarah's table. We did a uh, uh, a train kind of horror kind of thing. Uh, we've also done sexy battle wizards a few times. Uh, so yeah, go check all those stuffs out because they're cool and they're fun and they're just as chaotic as this. I did, I did a, a three part with Sarah uh, that was a to- definitely totally not Star Wars Star Wars game. Uh, that was a lot of fun as There's well. There's a lot of drugs in Boston. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We've done we've done lots of uh, we've done lots of sexy battle wizarding. That's a lot of fun mm-hmm. as well. Lots and lots of fun. Uh, all right, next we will go with Sarah. Who are you? Hi, ah. hi friends. I'm Sarah Moore. You can find me on Facebook at actor Sarah Moore. You can find me on Instagram and Twitter and uh, Ko-Fi and TikTok at Pixies and Pins. And you can find me every Friday night on twitch.tv slash Shenkan TV on Sarah's table at 7 p.m. Central time, which I don't know what it is for y'all because you live in the future. We do. uh, Well, that would be... So if it's 7 p.m. Central, that will be 8 a.m. for um, Australian Western, 10 10 a.m. for Australian Eastern, midday for the folks in New Zealand, and you're welcome because Look at this thank guy. you. Look at this yeah. guy. Um, this Friday we're playing Cupcake Witches by Steffi Devan. Next week we are playing uh, Lady Blackbird, and then we are going to launch into at least a three-episode arc of Dune by Modiphius. So come check that out. Very exciting. <laughs> Capoto Joe says, "What about GMT?" Yeah, what about GMT? Deck. Uh, that would back. be that would be midnight. <laughs> the witching hour Sus. for cupcake witching witches. Hour. Come on. Uh, all right, let's roll to see who goes next. We've had Dag uh, and Dread. Look at that. Yeah. Hi, I'm Josh the Dread GM. Uh, if you want to see what I do, <laughs> head over to my Twitch channel, Dread GM, or you know, follow me on on Twitter because I post uh, all the cool things there. Anyway, and, and that's where you get the announcements, uh, which is super cool. If you want to know what I'm doing right now, uh, right now uh, I'm doing module Mondays, uh, which is uh, Dungeons Dragons playthrough of Stonking Thunder, and uh, Mondays from now on will be uh, a game will be modules, uh, which is really cool because there's so many cool ones that I want to get through them. Uh, the other thing that you can check out uh, right now is. Uh, I guess just uh, follow on the Twitch because right now my, my schedule is a little bit flux uh, because of all the sickness that's happening right now. Uh, but if you want to see anything there, I was there last night and then I'm hopefully going to be there tonight. So come come hang out where we, we do all cool types of cool things. Uh, and you can see me uh, with, with all these beautiful people uh, whenever I get the chance. Uh, I, I drop whatever I'm doing to come play. Uh, and uh, hopefully I'll get to run for Sarah soon. Uh, it's going to happen, Sarah. We... I am like a unicorn. I'm a mythical no. creature. <laughs> Not going to be able to do it. I want to. <laughs> it's going to happen. I'll make it happen. Uh, but yes, thank you so much. This has been an absolute blast and it was everything that I wanted it to be. So Thank you for joining me. It was a lot of fun to run, Uh, chaotic and fun. Um, And I. How do you feel about? (laughs) <laughs> I, 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 find, I, I found it a lot of fun and uh, I just kept putting the the GMing ownership onto you guys to be like, hey, what's this guy's <laughs> name and where are we going? <laughs> what, what room is it next? And it just made, it, made, it, made my job a lot easier to improvise if I'm not doing the improvising. <laughs> um, no, it was a lot of fun. Um, I would definitely play another of uh, Grant Howitt's uh, one-page RPGs. I hear there's a lot of them, so I need to start making my way through them. Uh, I need to start earning the fact that there's a GM in my title and not yeah. DM um, by being a, an all-round games master. I am uh, Robert Hartley GM. If you have come to me from any of these people's communities or just found me randomly somehow, uh, I'm Robert Hartley GM. I'm a, I'm a full-time dungeon master and games master. Play at TTRPGs, mostly Dungeons and Dragons. Uh, I do. I run a game f- uh, for a company. A, 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 company i suppose i suppose they are a company a a a group called viva la dirt league on youtube uh and i and i'm a dm in my own right here on twitch and youtube and things as well you can find me at all of the places by using my tag Bye. Bye. bye hello youtube viewer have you followed me on twitch yet it's free and it lets you know when i'm going live so you can join in all of the fun as it's happening